What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy Shot. Shot vs. A Bike Podcast. Episode goddamn 91. We got return guests from episode 51. And this, that was her first podcast, and I must say, her best podcast. Oh, Detroit, <laughs> Detroit, goddamn period. diamond, man. What's, What's the good? Deal? What's the deal? Man, I appreciate bro. you coming on. I appreciate. You Thank know what? This me. real talk. But you know, we always salute niggas and shit, though. But you one of the ones that me and this nigga we talk about without you being present. Like how we be like, man, I hope I hope Detroit Diamond like win for real. Like you know what oh, I'm saying? Oh, I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, I know you. you. It was one of the show I gave you a salute, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Everything you've been doing, you've been grinding out here. So shit, just you know what I'm saying, keep up the hard work. Right. Period. You got a salute that you want to give somebody that's you know what I'm saying a close friend or somebody in your circle that's not family. Yeah. Um, I want to give a salute, shout out, big ups. Mm. To um, Gotti Bravo. Okay, okay. Um, John H. Bravo. That's my homie. Like he like my business partner. Mm-hmm. Um, shit, damn near like my A and R manager. Everything For like sure. that's the dude that's on, uh, couple, he on, on couple drama. Couple of my songs, yeah, yeah, drama. I'm a boss. Um, and like we just been locked in. Like we went to college together. Okay, okay, okay. That's how you all met. Initially. That's how we initially met. Yeah, but um, I was out in Cali, like last year mm. and he just he live out there so he just hit me up like let's do some music mm. and ever since then like we've been, been locked in yeah that's like, what's up you be needing some people that's gonna be on your side that not necessarily family but you know what i'm saying niggas really? he ain't family but he family you know he what i'm saying no he for sure family you know I, now yeah. like it's over like yeah for sure he can't not be my family yeah. right now it's crazy that's how it is like we be having shit we have more Family that's not blood, you know what I'm saying, as really than the ones that, you know what I'm saying? Why? Why is it like that? Like, Man, the strangers love you real. more than, that's a fact. than your real you see that shit with, I know you see it with the music, everything else you do. You probably get more love from people you just met maybe a year ago or two years ago in comparison to people you've been knowing. A couple of months ago, yeah. a couple of weeks ago. Like, Man, literally. Like, for real. like I said, like with him, I had, we went to college together, but we didn't really like hang out or know yeah, each yeah, other yeah, or anything just, like that. It was just like, you know, we, we, I went to a PWI, so okay. all of the black people at my school knew each other. Like, we okay. had our own little bond where it was like, this is black UWF. <laughs> mm-hmm. And so everybody knew each other, you know, all the, sure. all the athletes, yeah, all the yeah, people that was in yeah, sorority, yeah. the fraternities, and he, uh, he a Kappa. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. it was like, all right, cool. I knew who he was. He knew who I was. Yeah. But when I met him, it was like, like I said, probably not even six months mm-hmm. and after like five six months i knew like oh yeah, yeah he like he's yeah, a real yeah, genuine yeah. dude like i gotta keep him in my life yeah like, for sure for sure you get those ones and then when you get old you be thinking like shit i ain't gonna i ain't gonna find no new friends and shit like <laughs> but then you're like damn i'm fucking cool like shit like my, my wife her cousin me and this nigga locked in like nigga we talk every fucking day now like right like damn this nigga this nigga real homie and shit real life and shit nigga my my daughter god uh father and shit like that's what's up and that's crazy nigga last time she was on here though i had just had my baby girl she, right, about, she about to be one dang yeah, some time go by time fast flying. hell yeah time Happy go by birthday, baby. yeah for sure for sure december 15th she'd be one years old my, my, my little girl shit man i'm about to get a gun shit yeah. she, oh no yeah. <laughs> he's about to get a gun because i'm seeing these pictures like dog this little girl hey baby man she y'all need to make her a Gerber baby like like it's crazy like she she out here looking good oh, that, that's her right here Joe. oh yes they both are really <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. cute little dog little yeah. dog you hey, for oh, yeah. sure need the strap <laughs> you hey, might me. as well go ahead and get it man like, I got don't to even waste no time. I got to I got to but man since you know you're a return guest we can't start off like how we normally start off with you know saying a lot of people about their life because we know about you a little bit okay but uh give me your rundown on on the year 2021 like how good have it been bad some things you you feel like you accomplished, some shit that you need to continue to, you know what I'm saying, to move on with? Um, I feel like 2021 been um definitely better than 2020. Oh yeah, for sure. But it's been like um a roller coaster. Like it's done had its yeah. good moments where you know you be up, like yeah. you like, all right, I'm up, I'm <laughs> yeah, for good. sure. Everything good. You're right. And then it was sometimes where you just be down and you like, damn, like what I'm about to do, I need to figure out something else. So Yeah, for sure. Um far as the music i feel like i was i was like patiently taking my time with yeah, with yeah. it this time instead of me rushing because last time when i was yeah, here yeah. i told y'all like so this my plan i'm about to put yeah. out some shit like every two months yeah, yeah yeah yeah, for sure and then when i realized like 
Yeah, that's that too, ain't, yeah, that yeah, ain't yeah, it. That's like, too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me take my time, and then also, like I said, I have to, I have to fly to Cali to record. Like, okay, so, so you do all your recording in Cali? Yeah, none, none in the city. No. Oh shit, damn, damn. Okay. I can't even. I can't find a consistent engineer yeah. or producer here that just want to work with me, mm -hmm. that don't want to mess with me, <laughs> oh, that shit. don't get <laughs> weird when I, you feel me. Like I don't. Mm -hmm. So when I go out there, I just know I, I can just work. I'm locked in. Yeah, for sure. And it's like might as well just you know get the flight and yeah. get the work done. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's some what, what's some of them downs been twenty twenty one? Um, that you that major, you feel comfortable talking about? Major, major, major. Having COVID. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Speak on because I get <laughs> real funny, real <laughs> funny. I uh I called the producer like. Hey man, you know she supposed to come. She supposed to come on the show earlier, but I'm gonna tell her. <laughs> let's get a new day. Like, right, like let me get over it all the way. Because you was like, you was like, you was on 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 live. Like they say, I ain't got COVID, bro. <laughs> I'm like, she look, she got COVID though. That's what I said. Look, after I had like I got the rapid test, yeah. and then it was like negative that day. But that was my worst feeling day. Yeah. So I'm like, bro. There's no way that I can't not have it, or yeah, I got sure. something. So yeah. I had waited like two days. And then I was like, bro, I got to go back. Yeah, yeah. I went and I got the PCR test. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, it was yeah. positive. Because they always like, said they're rapping one. Like, it's, 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 it's a hair miss. Right. They giving false negative yeah, tests. Yeah, yeah. Like, they said it was like 20,000 of them. So, yep, they like, yep. it's a recall. Don't even take them. Yep. Everybody just take the PCR test. Yeah, because, yeah for sure. For sure. Yeah. So but you, I was down bad. Man, like, 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 how was, like, you, you were down to, because some people... Uh, um, it's different. Like some, my brother said he couldn't even got to bed. Like he didn't have no strength to even got to bed. He was just on his phone, laying in bed, yeah, thinking. Yeah, that like, was it, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. And it was like, I mean, you know, like obviously I get up and try to eat or yeah. you know, like take a shower and stuff like that. But yeah. my whole body was like aching, headaches, throwing up, Man. nauseated cold sweats like every night my bed was soaking wet like i was Man. like having to wash my covers and my sheets like yeah. every Damn. time because i was i was messed up and then i lost my taste and my smell yeah still don't have it to this day Man, yeah, I heard that too. I heard it take a while to get that back right too. Like, Man, that's, that's, that's the side so effects from from having that shit. Like, it take a while for things to get back normal. Right. <laughs> yeah, but I said you still going down on them tacos and that goddamn lobster. Swear to God. <laughs> like, fuck it, they I can't taste, taste it. Nothing. But I know it's like, good though. Everybody like, damn, you still going crazy. I'm like, Man. I mean, I gotta eat good. Yeah, for but sure. Yeah. It's just like, <laughs> and my nephew yesterday it was so funny. He made a joke. Like, he was like, um, I had told him like, yeah, I'm about to eat some spaghetti and some yeah. garlic bread and salad Man. and stuff. He was like, okay, but yeah. you can't taste yeah, it. Yeah, you don't know how good it tastes. Like, <laughs> they could be making some I'm trash. I'm like, boy, shut up. Like, man, nobody man. asked you. So is there anything, like, left musically that you want to accomplish, you know what I'm saying, with two months left? Like, anything that we should be on the lookout for? You, you just had a new tape that just came out. We're going to talk about that. Right. Um. So, yeah, I, I definitely just dropped the mixtape, Um. D-Mix Volume 2. It's mm -hmm. out now on streaming platforms. So make sure y'all go get that. For sure. Going crazy. Yeah. Um, I'm actually performing tonight, too. So oh, shit, I'm going to be um, at the Bank Rose venue on 7 Mile. Okay, okay, okay. So, um... That's that what Bank Rose production? Yeah. They be having like, yeah, because he yeah. got like a whole little, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, so I'm performing there tonight just to like, you know, like get my music out because I haven't performed in probably like over a year now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, yeah, get um, back in the mix of that. Yeah, just getting back used to it. Yeah. And, um, but it's just just put so for the rest Other of the year. Other than that, I'm just pushing. like pushing. Yeah, yeah. just pushing it. Uh, more videos. For sure. You know, yeah, you a video queen. We gonna talk about that too. Like <laughs> you, if that's what's up though. Like you 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 putting your money into your crib. Like you know what I'm saying. I swear. So yeah. So that's what's up. That's what's up. So before we get to all that, I've been asking these questions to people, man. You know what I'm saying. Give me something that you wanted to be as a little kid that you never pursued that you never told nobody. Like I said That I never told anybody That you wanted to do Outside of basketball music Like Some as a little kid You know as a little kid I wanted to be a karate star Like I wanted to be a black belt <laughs> And I said I, I wanted, heard you say that yeah, On another interview yeah, I was yeah. like This is he said He wanted to be yeah, a karate yeah, kid For yeah, real Karate like, kid Tap dance <laughs> I wanted to be a tap and karate nigga Like Damn um, So it, it's something like <laughs> Like, like the one chick she wanted to be a race car driver like I'm like damn right I, that's, yeah. that was the one I was watching when you uh, said that I was yeah. like damn they funny but so um, anything that was kind of like weird that you wanted to be like I don't think it was weird but it was just like I wanted to be a lawyer mm -hmm. when I was growing up okay and okay and I used to just watch Law and Order all the time with my grandma so it was like oh yeah nigga like I'm about to <laughs> yeah, be a lawyer sure, I'm yeah. going to school to be a lawyer yeah. and yeah so I got older I was like yeah that ain't you was it. good on like, that mm -mm. Hell yeah My mom said I talk too much So I should be a lawyer bro. Right Like you know how to lie You yeah. know how to You feel me Finesse some stuff Like yeah, yeah You should be a lawyer But it's too much school Like mm -mm. Yeah for Can't sure 
I mean, I see a growth in her since the last podcast, though. She all she comfortable, though. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I better be comfortable. Shit, but I like, understand you was coming to a crib with some niggas you ain't know in the hood. I don't, you know what I'm saying? So definitely, I'll be a little weird out too. Then. I mean, but I had somebody with me. I was cool. Like, yeah, I yeah, wasn't, yeah, I yeah. wasn't like you feel me. I'm just growing as a for sure, person, for sure. as an artist. So Got to. I'm, Got to. Nah. Now, you know, I usually ask people, give me a song. We talked about that earlier um, on your first podcast interview with me. A song or an album that, you know, take you back to a time. But do you got a song or an album that that, that represent what you're going through right now in life? Mm. Mm-hmm. See, mm. Niggas, mm. <laughs> niggas ain't going to ask these questions like me. God like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I know Y'all like, came here <laughs> this time. Sheesh. You know what I'm saying? But most, you know, I know that's like a question you got like, Think about like I know you can't come out the gun with it, you know what I'm saying? No, I got one. What up? I'm gonna say Usher Confessions. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Talk about that day, That's like, me, right? Yeah, That's yeah, me. no, but for sure. Yeah, um, I would say Usher Confessions because it was like, I mean, he was like on an emotional roller coaster, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, for sure. With his life, with his relationships, yeah. with you know, music, everything. Yeah. So I just feel like I'm in a very similar. Mm-hmm. Boat, like we definitely gonna tap in on that. I would want to ask you right <laughs> now, but on the bars, I want to talk about that because you said some on a song that made that made me want to you know okay, saying, talk yeah, about some I shit. Know, look, I, <laughs> this is why this is why I have to come yeah. and talk to y'all because from the first time when I came, I could tell that you did your homework. Like, yeah, for sure, for sure. And that's why I really like like yeah. y'all show and yeah. support y'all and everything because. I like when the interviewers or the, you know, the podcast people actually yeah. go in. And do some research like, and know. Yeah. yeah, don't just have me on yeah. there. You ain't got nothing to really I talk hate that about shit or because ask me. You know, why, you know how I know someone going to be fucked up with podcasts is when they be like, Int- introduce yourself. In- nigga, I should introduce you and tell you what you going to give you a rundown. <laughs> Dang, and then, I didn't even, I didn't even yeah, think about that. Because a lot that. of shows I, I peep there, be like, yeah, give the people your name, tell them what you do, all this stuff. Why won't you do it and then let you go ahead and just, you know, feed off that and then you be like, bam, y'all just exactly. go back and forth. Because then now I'm just going out with you. That te- that's telling me as a person getting interviewed that you don't know about me. You just wait for me to tell you about some shit and then you come off with some questions mm. as I tell you what I do. So, <laughs> so he look. No, this man he he be analyzing the and, game. Yeah, and think about it, cause at my job I work at a hospital and stuff like, and I just once I do like my my job I got four hours to chill. Right. So I just be looking at nigga shit. I'm like, and ain't no hating cause it's it's some, I can throw some the connected experience, uh, experience with uh, the twins S J A J. I think that's somebody you should link up with too. They gonna do a homework on you and they gonna ask some good ass questions and they some good people. Okay. They so they got a podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Matter of fact, I'm gonna um I'll link y'all after this. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be Them great. um meet the connect. With uh, Uncle Spooty and I feel like I heard him DJ OG or something before. like that. Yeah, they some they they a good podcast because they don't really go off question. They just talk shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got nothing structured. They just talk shit and it's a good podcast. So hey, even Kid L, even though that nigga said he's gonna have me on his podcast and never did. Who is that? Is that the white boy? Yeah, who do oh, it? Okay. <laughs> All right. That nigga said I'm supposed to be like the top five in that bitch to come on the show. That nigga on episode ninety nine. Yeah. So you know he done got he done got a lot of uh, popular people yeah, on there for so sure. you know like once yep. you start getting them getting them faces then they be like all right the niggas that i thought i wanted where <laughs> yeah. i needed yeah. they gotta wait yeah, yeah. I, I got a lineup right now, now so how do you feel about that like number wise like niggas don't get respect if they ain't got like the numbers as far as like following and shit like that or they not as popular as people right. in the city like you think that's some bullshit including, just, including me yeah how you feel about that like you feel like damn like i'm just as dope as these niggas who y'all look at that's you know what i'm saying right top notch um, a thousand percent. I feel like just is it's just social media that made it be that way. Yeah. Like, I mean, you you obviously have to have like ten K to twenty K type of followers <laughs> to, get respect, to yeah. even get somebody to open up your DM, mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. you know, like do some work with you or For anything sure. like that. But um I just feel like with certain people you just really gotta take that risk or take the chance to like listen to yeah, their music yeah. and see like or you know get to know them as a For person sure. and be like all right yeah like i can really work with yeah. you you can we can do something special together and then if you one of them people who already got the following and yeah. i don't yeah it's gonna we yeah. can come together For and sure. just blow up yeah, yeah. One. so yeah. that's i'm i'm big on like 
collabing with for people. Sure. For sure. And when time. I reached out to you, you had way of, uh, more of a bigger following than I did. But shit, you still chopped it up with me, Man, came on the show. I didn't even really have no, I feel like I ain't had nothing for real. Yeah. So I'm like, but, I ain't nobody to yeah. be turning nobody down. <laughs> and I know like, your shit I'm real though. Get out here. Cause you, you your engagement is real on your on your shit. Exactly. When niggas when you got a million followers and Bro, only three that <laughs> is so annoying. Why people be having two hundred and fifty K and then 28 likes. Yeah, like that shit make no views. sense. And so I'm you already like, know that shit is. Why are y'all buying these the, these little bots? Bro? We, had, we had some people on the show. Well, oh. <laughs> maybe maybe a person. <laughs> Don't tell nobody business. Motherfucker got cats following them and shit. Like, nigga, you got wow. cats as a phone. Like, I hit this nigga ball time. Like, you see this shit, bro? Like, this shit funny as hell. Like, I ain't about to, it ain't that serious for me. At all. Like, I just, I feel like it has to happen, like, organically. It <laughs> got to. Yeah, for sure. Because it make you feel be better. weird. Like, yeah, you're yeah. going to be like. Make you feel a whole lot better about the shit. Dog, okay. So, this robot, <laughs> this, um, whatever weirdo, like. Yeah. It's nobody liking your shit, but the people that yeah, you pay to like it. For sure. So it's not sure. no. It's so not it's, no it's looking good to who? I don't know, cause if a real nigga gonna look like nigga, this ain't no real likes. Like that shit crazy. But shit, that's 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 for another. Uh, that's, you know, <laughs> that's, another that's the game right now. That's how it is. So when you came on and you had a uh, year of the diamond, I told you my favorite song was uh you rock my you rock my real. I told you mm-hmm. it was the best song. I said you should do a video for it. I don't know if I should get some credit, but <laughs> but uh but but absolutely me you being get a, some credit m- and both of y'all contributed to my video, so I appreciate y'all for that because for sure. appreciate it. um you know like sometimes shit that junk be hard. Like when yeah. I was first coming out, I ain't had no money to be doing all this oh, no, stuff. For I, sure. I don't care. Like I'm gonna reach out. Like look, I need some donations, y'all. Yeah. I'm trying oh, yeah, to yeah. shoot a real ass video. Yeah, no. and if y'all really you know y'all vibe with me, then yeah, for boom. sure. Yeah, yeah. Anything. anything Thing I help and shit. That's what's up. But they I, real, y'all. I was These the first one. Ones. I was the first one to record your song coming from work off the radio. You think it was the first no. one? No. You know how what I know you was? Because I sent it to you and you posted like my that song. was the first yep. one. Okay, well, then, look. <laughs> hey, you, Dr. Darius too, dog. You say what's up, bro? Shout out to Dr. Look, I get Dr. Darius. On Man, I've been trying. Real. I've been trying. Did not. I, yeah. I feel like and I he had, a ooh. Yeah, he did, and he said something. I said something back. That was it. <laughs> man, I'm going to have to get on him, I swear. Yeah, like, I'm like, I feel like I told yeah, him, and then yeah. I exchanged some stuff with yeah, y'all, whatever, sure. but yeah, shout out to Dr. Darius, yeah. because shit, without him, my music probably wouldn't even yeah. be on the radio at, like, a consistent rotation mm-hmm. and everything, like, he a real 100 yeah. guy, like, for, for real, sure. he don't have to do nothing. And he a fucking, he, he a legend in the game. A in the game, yeah, swear. for sure, he been back and forth both stations for shit since i was in high school damn near like man that's been a while ago <laughs> <laughs> right before our time my bad so yeah so yeah so saturday <laughs> it was a saturday i remember i, I worked the job i hated and i was listening to the radio i'm like hold on damn this, that, I'm, i recorded this shit real quick like this my shit yeah. and i know who this is <laughs> recorded too. it had sent it to you told him like nigga i just heard uh dj diamond on the motherfucking radio shit when you heard your song on that mud and being consistent rotation like you felt like all right this is music shit. I'm getting somewhere. Like yeah, like I was so hype. It was. I mean, it was a couple of times where like people was just sending me the videos where I didn't. I never caught it. I wasn't yeah. catching it on the radio yeah. when it was coming. So it'd just be like somebody had sent me a video, and I'm like, damn, it was on there again. Like mm-hmm. I ain't even hear it. So I had to start hitting him up. Like, okay, do you know what time? Yeah, it's gonna yeah. Come let on? me know I so I can be prepared. Catch this. Yeah. But when I fi- like the first time I heard it, like I. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Like I was just like, damn. Yeah, for sure. Not only did I have like I had three songs on the radio this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Like Hell uh, yeah. Rock My World, I'm a Boss was on there, and um Bad Mommy. Yeah. Like yeah. Bad Mommy was in rotation, like yeah, coming sure. at the Meg the Stallion yeah, and the yeah, baby. I'm yeah. like, yeah. oh shit, like we lit <laughs> now. Yeah. Like And niggas be talking shit about the radio, but it's something <laughs> about the radio it'd be like, nigga, like, all right, bet, like it's official. It's official. Bro, like People, I just feel like people now, they feel like radio isn't a big thing because of streaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. like, okay, but like, if you go buy my stuff on iTunes or Apple Music and I'm top, you mm-hmm. know, Billboard or whatever like that, that's what matters. For sure. But trust me, like, yeah. radio still yeah. matters. Matter. Yeah, and yeah. it's just still like the point, like, your song playing yeah. in your city or yeah. around the world on the radio, and anybody and, can hear it. And it wasn't just one time. It was like, like you said, using rotation. Cause exactly. Because it, it could be like that one time, you know, they played Detroit artists and then that'd be it. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? But your shit was constant rotation. Niggas was fucking with it. You was on there with your, uh, I think your nieces and nephews gigging out to right. it and shit. 
they, like that. They was like not impressed at first. <laughs> like they was just like I'm telling them like y'all my song about to come on the radio. They like it's not coming on. You yeah. ain't on the radio and I sure. played and they still was just like okay. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. The it's kids, to, the kids don't care. They yeah. want to get out and go play Hell at the yeah. park. So. It's hard to impress some kids. My son be giving a damn about what I do. Like. Man, <laughs> one of my nephews is like locked in on my stuff though. Yeah. So my nephew Tayshawn, shout out to Tayshawn because yeah, he know all my songs, he watch all my videos, yeah. he be on TikTok doing dances yeah, and everything. For sure, for so for shout sure. out to him. Hell yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Cause you were famous on TikTok for the fall and shit like that. Like. Definitely, <laughs> it just hit a million views now. Man, like I said, that's how I first discovered who you were. Right. Because one of those um social media platforms that posted this shit. I'm like, what the hell? And then I clicked on your name, like, oh shit, she got some dope music though. That's <laughs> and, I, look. It ain't just the fall. However, however it happens, you feel me? That's yeah. why I was just like yeah. when stuff happened organically, I'm I'd be with it. Like, okay. Yeah. So did that radio shit did that make you feel like you was closer to your dream like of being like, you know what I'm saying, the artist that you want to be as far as like a deal, shit like that. Like Yeah, um definitely because um like I said, with talking to him, mm -hmm. he was like just telling me it was a lot of people that was reaching out to him mm -hmm. about me and wanting to work with me and stuff like that. Yeah. And just telling me, like, just giving me gems of what I need to do to keep pushing and keep, For you sure. know, keep working it or whatever like that. So I definitely felt like okay like it's about to happen for yeah, real yeah hell like, yeah hell yeah man. itching for that motherfucker man. yeah and then like I, I actually did start to like get a bunch of opportunities where it was like some, a few labels was like reaching out to me some mm -hmm. um A&R's and some companies and stuff like that yeah and then it was just like some fluke shit just started happening too like you know stuff that I thought was real and yeah. it wasn't yeah, yeah, like yeah. obviously Everybody had knew like at one point where it was like, damn, I was about to get signed with Lil Baby. Okay. And come to find out the whole situation was not that. Like, well, it was like it, a fake representation hit you? Or? Pretty. It was It was somebody who had connections, but not really trying to yeah. offer me what I thought it was going to be. For sure, for sure. So I was just like, bro, at this point, I'm, I'm better off staying independent and doing yeah. what I'm doing on my own to be able to put out my own music and do yeah, my videos sure. whenever I want. If, yeah, because you're doing the shit. I'm not getting a yeah. big ass check that's about to take me, you feel yeah, me, like, to the whole next level. level. Yeah. Like, that don't make sense. For sure, for sure. Yeah, because I seen that shit. I, I, I'm like, damn, that's what's up. Hell yeah. Bro, like, like, you, know what you <laughs> I'm sitting there, like, packing my shit up. Like, oh, yeah. we go. About to move like, to Atlanta and shit. Look, I'm like, dead ass and i'm still considering moving either to atlanta or cali and yeah. like after i finish what i got going on here okay but um yeah, yeah. that yeah. was that was a major Man. bummer like a, you gotta be, down. Yeah. that was one of them uh, the moments yeah, where yeah, i was yeah. like fucked up i was hyped and then I was like, damn. Man. And so you don't know who real and who ain't when it comes to like niggas reaching out social media <laughs> email whatever like you Never. don't know what the like, fuck is fake. I'm I'm just because it's been happening so much lately I've been like getting hit, mm -hmm. uh, especially with the emails. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, psh, man. the emails be so lit, like they be making them. I just, <laughs> first of all, I'll be wondering who got this much time yeah, on their hands for sure. to be doing weird for shit sure. like this. For sure. I guess scammers. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Niggas who, they gonna, who wanna get money? Yeah. That's what they do. They gonna get help. They gonna and they will figure out some shit, boy. And you will be like, damn, like I'm talking to a fucking Russell Simmons <laughs> in this bitch <laughs> for real, like. I actually was on live with Russell Simmons one time, so I knew that yeah, was I saw, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you saw I'm, him face to face. Yeah, but yeah. I'm like, the emails be like. I saw somebody who said it got scammed by uh by the game and shit like that. Man, like, it be all I, I, I might not say that to that nigga. That nigga, that nigga find out say something. To him. <laughs> that nigga, that nigga be threatening niggas for real, dog. It be all type of stuff for real. Man. Like I done got some emails like, um, somebody. It was it was it was. Per let me see what was his name um t ferris is okay. meg the stallion's manager yeah, yeah, yeah so like they had sent me some stuff like yeah like i want you to open up for me yeah, this like this and this all this and i'm just like oh shit like yeah, hell yeah. oh it's on yeah <laughs> it was not it bro Man. i had literally i screenshotted the emails and i dm'd him mm -hmm. just to see was he gonna yeah, open yeah, it and sure. i'm like bro like is this real like yeah. are you really reaching out to me because yeah. 
I'm like damn near about to hop on the flight. Like, <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm ready. Come on. And he was like, I am so sorry. Like, that's not me. It's been a lot of people, you know, Man. copying my email and putting it on yeah. and doing all this. And I'm just like, Man. dog, that's bold. But that's can you crazy. still listen to my music? Yeah, for sure. like, Hell well, yeah. I got your attention. Yeah, can you just click sure. the link right here? Man, niggas be man, niggas be tripping, playing with niggas' hearts and shit. Nigga, like you getting emotional. That getting is ready. literally <laughs> like you're playing with my yeah. emotions at this Man. point. Man, niggas gonna be independent forever because they ain't gonna it'll be a real nigga. You ain't been fucked. I don't trust this exactly, shit. Exactly, like, I, and that's what I be thinking when I be hearing all these stories of like people getting signed or like hit up. Mm -hmm. Um, like just like I would say with um, I don't know, like the baby, his artist, she, yeah, he yeah. got an artist named K Kilo. Okay. Um, I I, I like her music and stuff like that, yeah. but her story of how he just hit her up, like the he blue. just DM'd her, yeah. like yeah, um, like you signed, and she like. No, nigga, yeah. like, what you trying to do? Sure, and you yeah. like, all right, pull up on me. So I would be like, oh, is this yeah, real? Yeah, or sure. like, sure. no, but it was real. And pass him an opportunity because you think a nigga faking this shit, though. Right. People That's even funny. said that with Gucci Man too. Like when they when he was doing oh, the ten seventeen yeah. sign ups, they was yeah. like getting texts from him and calls, yeah. and they was like. This ain't no fucking Gucci yeah, man. You hitting fucking, me yeah, up. Yeah, niggas like, like the and you got the face on me like what up though, dog? Exactly. Like, <laughs> yeah, like for, exactly. For sure, for sure. Now, uh, you know what I'm saying, as an artist, like we we grow, you know, you grow all the time as a as an individual, as a you know what I'm saying, your sound and shit. Like, is it something within yourself you feel like you need to improve on? Or Yes, a lot. What's up? Um, for one, I need to improve on my production as a whole. Mm -hmm. Like, I need to be able to work with like some legit producers to get some mm. some real sounds that's like out in the world like yeah. i the most of the time i either see some producers that's on instagram or whatever yeah, but yeah. you know they they be the ones that's like just posting the beats from youtube and stuff for like sure, that sure. and yeah, yeah, yeah. They, it'd be like the samples and stuff all the time so yeah. that'd be my vibe when i'm in the mixtape yeah, like sure. how yeah. i am with dmix yeah. but um i just need like a universal sound so that i can you know, like have different waves of yeah. how I'm rapping and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. I feel you. Um, I do have a great producer right now, Swell on the Beat. Um, okay. he's actually in Cali too, like who okay. I go work with. So, um, are you looking for some like some producers here? I am. Okay. I'm looking for producers everywhere. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, man, I don't got yeah. no cap on nothing. Yeah, like, yeah, I need yeah. to work with everybody. But, sure. um, yeah, Swell he produced. Um. The song that I got on the project is called Control. It's like the remake of Hit Row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With uh, so, Rob Moss. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to Rob. Yeah, Shout I, out remember, to I remember Hit Rows, though. Like, my nigga, Everybody yeah. was Hit Rows oh. in the basement parties, skate duh. rinks, everything. My nigga, my nigga Weez used to Hit Row, though. I used to be mad as hell at that nigga, like. Nigga, like. Because you wasn't Hit Row, huh? And he was getting all the girls. Duh. All the girls were staring we'd be, at him and everything. We'd be at St. Andrews and shit. That nigga hand me them cards. He's like, oh, shit. I know what time it is. <laughs> That nigga and that bitch getting on the flow, humping that motherfucker. Dog, roll, like, ground working, everything. And this was at the time when niggas wearing hoop shorts under their pants. So that nigga pulling up, you see all hoop shorts under. I'm like, this nigga, dog. Dog, that was a vibe, though. Man. Like, that that was a good ass time <laughs> Man. in the world when we was in the basement parties, hit rolling, yeah, and yeah, clubs, sure. and everything. It's fucked up that when I first heard that song, I thought about my nigga Weez. Like, <laughs> Like this nigga was a hit rolling king. Like this nigga be man. I don't think he was that sweet, but it was just embarrassing for me. Like niggas be like, look at your boy, look at your he boy. Still, he's still around. Yeah, that's my nigga though. Send it to him. Yeah, that's my nigga. That's my nigga. <laughs> send it to him. Nigga. Tell him to send me a video. Man. Tell him to send me a video so I can post it. Funny yes. as hell. Funny as hell. Not. Yeah. Last, like I said, last project. You know, what I'm saying you're a diamond. You shot a lot of videos. You did a lot, a lot of the groundwork that a label would do. You know, what I'm saying you was promoting it heavy and shit like that. Like, do you feel like doing all that, getting on the radio? You feel like you got the love that it deserved, or like it was some shit that that maybe like just was missing, or whatever. Like, um, because like I, mean, I said, you were promoting the fuck out of that motherfucker. Right, it definitely could have been right, and I did it for like a whole year. Yeah, for sure. Fast. So, because Year of the Diamonds came out last year in November, so it's yeah. uh, it's almost a year mm -hmm. that I you know put out a a, a new project. But yeah. um, I definitely feel like you know it could have been way bigger and yeah, better yeah, yeah. and stuff like that but i don't have the resources yeah, to get yeah, it out sure. there to everybody in the world i mean but shit you did like i said you did a good job shit. I, but, right for my first like <laughs> major yeah, project i feel sure. like i did i did really good and my team helped me a lot like 
So I'm just I'm just appreciative from now. I'm just learning and growing, you know, every yeah. time. So for sure, for sure. Now it's, speaking of videos, you had a flatline from John Guys. That's he been doing like he goat, all your bro. shit. He like, the go. Then he, he traveled to motherfucking Cali with you, right? Because he from here. Yes. Yeah. So like, what made what made you like? Oh shit! Like this this the nigga I'm locking in with. He gonna do every video. Like so look, fuck everybody flatline else. Flatline is the goat, bro. Like. Yeah. Best quality. Mm -hmm. This nigga cameras is like 8K. Like it looks like movies. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then on top of that, so when I first when I first met him, he was shooting a video for somebody else. Like when I seen him. Okay. Um, but then one day he just like found me on Instagram and mm -hmm. he hit me up like, I see you working and grinding. Mm -hmm. Like I want to give you a free video. You know, like oh, just shit, so yeah, you can yeah, see. Yeah. How good my quality is, and we can work together. So I'm like, bet. So, oh, he shot, oh, he shot the free boy out to you. Yeah, that's that's what's yeah. it was the first video that yeah. he shot for me. Yeah. And you know, of course, I you know I gave him something just yeah, for coming for sure. out, yeah, but yeah. it was like, damn. Then he sent me the video back in two days, and I'm like, oh shit, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I like you. All yeah. right, boom. So then after that, I'm like, all right, I got another video. Let's yeah. get it. Like I just start shooting. I was shooting videos like every month or every two months mm -hmm. at that. So. Mm -hmm. Every time he just and now he became he a part just, of the team. Yeah, that's, so that's what that's my videographer. Like, yeah, yeah. And we we just locked in ever since then. Like, mm -hmm. he always makes sure that my vision comes to life. Mm -hmm. Like, I, me and him, look, we be going at it yeah, like that. Yeah, like, we sure. like brother and sister. Yeah, how we yeah, be going? Yeah. I be like, nigga, I need this like this. Yeah. Like, he be like, you don't need it. Like, it's perfect. Like, just leave. Yeah. I'm like, no, bro. Like, <laughs> dude, like me, me and him will go at it for yeah. hours. But that just shows like how passionate we both are about, yeah, about y'all craft. craft. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, Hell yeah. So Hell yeah. I, I appreciate him definitely. No, for sure. You, like I said, man, it's just it's just as an artist, I believe a little bit of it is about luck. As far as like blowing up, and when I say look, I mean like having the right people come into your life. Like you said with him with the whole, you know, what I'm saying doing the videos. That's a big part of of a, of, a, of an artist is exactly. make sure you got some good videos because there's a lot of bullshit videos, nigga, at one spot. You know what I'm saying? The shit ain't, ain't, you know what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't, ain't really like. The video's trash and then the videographer's Yeah, the bad concept well. is bad. Like, so, you like, know what I'm saying? Right. The art, and that's another thing with artists. Like, you have to be creative. Like, stop just shooting videos in yeah. the studio, in the strip club, <laughs> yeah, yeah, in for sure. the dope yeah. house. Like, yeah. nigga, have a concept. <laughs> yeah, for real, for real. Because like, when we used to be watching videos on 106 and Park, Missy Elliott yep, videos, type yep, shit like yep. that, like... Bow Wow and that bitch going exactly. crazy. Ja Rule and shit, It nigga. was a whole lot that you was like, damn, like, <laughs> they yeah. really got choreography. Man, and they got, you, you would know, sit back and really watch some shit, though, like, damn, this shit, this feel hard. Bro, My, man. mind you, they they wasn't really putting no money yeah. into that. Like the yeah. videos was probably very cheap that yeah. they was doing. Besides, what's the ending was going crazy on the videos? Uh, uh boom, Billy, what's his name? Yes, um, what was it? Uh, damn. I forgot that Benny Boom Benny Boom, Benny Boom. Man, I'm gonna yes. call you Billy Boom That <laughs> yeah. man was the Benny goat Benny Boom yeah That nigga had videos looking crazy Like He was but, the go. Like yeah, niggas, everybody was going to him Niggas I'm, well, You know one video that uh, stood out for me Just think about once his part uh, Young Jock is going down When niggas are doing that dance and shit dog. Like y'all had a bunch of hood niggas in man, there dancing for sure. Like doing and then, the whoopie um, whoop My man everybody in the club getting tipsy uh, Jaquan Yeah 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 But that was I mean he had everybody Doing the chicken head So mm -hmm. that came from Chingy And you feel sure. me And Nelly And Hell them yeah. so Hell yeah Motherfucker Young Guns Nigga on college campus And shit That yeah. made me want to go to school Just cause it was a lot of girls In the video Exactly Like <laughs> yeah. Knowing them niggas Ain't stepped the foot in there So it was just like the fact that y'all finessing yeah, us, for like, sure, come on, for sure. that's, that's, good, that's what you gotta do. That's good days. I mean, I wish, man, we should be, we should host one this part, dog. We should do a Detroit. Man, <laughs> I told you hell. this when I first came here. I was like, this reminded me of like rap, rap city in the yeah, basement, you yeah. know. But if, yeah. if we could bring a one hundred six in Park back, like that man, would be legendary. That should be dope. That should be dope. Now the new tape, you got uh six six tracks, right? Six tracks. Six tracks. Yep. Give me your top three. Mine's is uh reasons, balling, and time. Wow, really? Yeah, that was my top three. You, even though you came out the gate talking shit, but I like those. My top three is drama, control. I like drama. I like drama, but I think well, you know, you know how you like when you get a tape and you heard the single so much that you kind of like you know that shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> so y'all used to the damn song. Yeah, damn. yeah. So I was like, and I, the video just about to come out. The video mm -hmm. dropping today. So yeah, yeah. Um, so I, yeah, I, I, I knew it went already. But like the other ones, like you know, say I'm an emotional nigga. So like you know, time right. and reasons. Like, Look, cause they real. Like yeah, them, is, sure. them like real, real songs. Those are my most 
valuable yeah. like my prized possession yeah. so yeah. if if i had to go i would go um drama control okay. and reasons okay yeah, yeah yeah i mean drama you came in that mud y'all both came in that mud you know what i'm saying do y'all thing and shit but it's like me i, I like I'm always like the nigga who likes songs that everybody else don't really like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you're I, emotional guy. I'm that <laughs> <laughs> you listen to some shit like you know what I'm saying? He like when he grabbed the aux, he putting on Usher. Man, like, man, man. He, hey, he might, on Chris Brown. He might get some, might get some her on the, on the other side. Like, put that song on. Man, like, let's man. go crazy. For real, like I be at work, niggas be surprised. What I be listening, to. I be listening to her and shit. Like, damn, this shit cold. Yeah, it do be, but that's my, I mean that's because you really into music. Yeah, like, I like so. I love R and B. Like, I will listen. I'd rather listen to a good R and B album before I listen to a good al- rap album. Depending yeah, on who the rapper is, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Me too. Depend- I've always been more into R and B than rap. Anyways, I just knew how to rap. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you know, get get into your shit, man. Talk about the bars. You know, what I'm saying that's why I was waiting for a little bit. Just <laughs> ask you some questions and shit. Duh. You know, what I'm saying on, on, on time. You say a line. Say, I know your past got you broken up in pieces. Can you be in a successful relationship with somebody that's been hurt from the past from the past relationship? Because you know you, um, your past got you broken up. A lot of yeah. motherfuckers, even on dudes, like you could jump into a relationship too early. You still ain't you over that person before Craig or oh, or, trust me, like I've been that person. Like yeah. I've been in love with two people at one time, and I never thought that that was possible yeah. until I was just like. Nigga, like it's it's happening. For sure, yeah. I'll be like seeing that on like Love and Hip Hop with like <laughs> TDJ where he like loved Mimi, but he loved Jocelyn too. Like sure. I'm like, bro, how does nigga love both of them? But then Man. it was like it happened to me. It was like damn, like I was in a relationship with yeah. somebody, and then I was still like yeah. feeling something about my ex. Like I'm still in love with this person. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. You definitely have to take the time to heal and get over your stuff before you get into a new relationship. Mm-hmm. Because if you don't, it's gonna affect it. Like yeah, for sure, for sure. You, you just yeah. gonna, you gonna keep doing. I don't think I've been thing. in love with two people at the same time. I don't think I have. Well, I mean, haven't you been with one person for a very long time? So. Oh, with, with my wife right now. Yeah, we've been together for six years. But prior to that, I'm thinking about my 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 like my, your young my stupid days. days. Yeah. But um. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I'm lying. I'm lying. <laughs> yeah. right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, I know some shit. Boy, you told me you was in love with Ashley and Shane at the you know same what? time. I know exactly what you about to say. My little high school thing. And just, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, but it's, I mean, I, you know, like high yeah. school and stuff. Like, but no, this was like real. Grown. Like for, for me, I thought that like, you know, high school, you think you about to be with a person forever. We like, we, we start off going together, like going together. You know, I'm, I was young. 13 to 20. Oh well, shit. yeah, <laughs> that means something. Yeah. Like that's something for sure. That's something for yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but she doing good. She doing good. Where life, right. married, got kids. Shout out to her. Good husband. She's Tell a good her person. To go stream, stream <laughs> the diamond stream. D mix value too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch shot versus everybody Man. podcast. For sure, for Subscribe. Sure. Now on the um. T- on time also same song you said uh give you some space so we went our separate ways. Can't man have have that ever really worked? When a nigga goes like, all right, I'm going to give you some space and y'all come back. I never heard of relationship getting space. Have you? No. I never heard. I, me. I've heard of giving it, but yeah. not to the extent that it was given. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So what happened was, obviously, I was in a relationship for mm-hmm. like two years. Yeah, I was going to talk And that. we broke up this year in January, at the end of January. It was, so, uh, it was uh, what, Lemon Pepper? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. Like, yeah. She was she was, she was here, here with yeah. us with the last time. I, so. Yeah, 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 for sure. Right. So, um, you know, like a lot of stuff we had a we both was dealing with a lot of our own personal things that sure. was affecting us mm-hmm. on top of um just like our careers that you know like yeah, she do like, a lot you do right a lot. she she's a choreographer and I'm a I'm a rapper or you know an artist and stuff like that. So it yeah. was like um we just needed the time to do our stuff like sure. to make it happen on top of it was like trying to be there for each other with yeah. the drama that we had going on in our own personal lives for sure for sure so um yeah it was just it was it was a lot it yeah, was a yeah. lot to to handle at that moment so yeah like yeah. We, you know we broke up yeah, yeah, and yeah. she was you know like she left so yeah. she was taking some time yeah. and i'm thinking like boom right. it's yeah, just yeah, like just a little, time, yeah, like, yeah, a little bit like yeah, 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 just go little. ahead and you know get your mind right i'm yeah. gonna get my shit together and then we about to get back get back yeah. right because time started be like oh cause exactly that, this- like <laughs> we about to get married like yeah. this some this some real shit that yeah. i feel you know but 
yeah, the time it's still it's is, still time. It's still time yeah. right now. That shit, that shit never happened. It never came back. Yeah, cause so, I see she had uh, did the choreography for your uh, rock my world, my world right. and y'all was together at the Millennium Tour and stuff. I'm like, hold on, hold on shit, they together. They they, they kicking it. Yeah, we cool. So this is like, some friendship. We real cordial. Like yeah, we, yeah. I mean, we was friends before, and like yeah. I said, we we known each other since we was in seventh grade. So for sure. so yeah, yeah, we yeah. was cool. But yeah. it t- it took a while to you know to even yeah. get back to that. Like you know, like when you be going through for a breakup, sure. it yeah. be some good, it yeah. be some bad. So yeah. and then you might get hyped like, oh shit, we back. Right. It's like, like no, we not like. Oh shit! <laughs> like, like, hold on, pump your brakes. Like, this ain't that. Baby. Oh, like, for sure, I just, for sure. I just wanted to hit that. Like, that's over, but yeah, you know, yeah, that's I'd be right. like, damn. And I, like, I'm a tourist, so I'm like emotionally attached to people. Yeah. So it'd be like, damn. That's like, it. I thought, yeah, but for sure. for sure. you feel me? You think you think you think that time will ever come back around? And or you think at like this point, it might be too long? At now? this point, no. Just because I feel like, um. We both have grown a lot, like yeah, yeah, yeah. so. It's like yeah, because sometimes you can love somebody, but then be like, you know, if you get back together, probably gonna be the same same shit. Or you might not. Even- I don't even think that. I just feel like it would be. I don't know. I just feel like it'd be kind of weird. Like it'd be different. And yeah, it might be trying too hard. Yeah, like yeah. and I just I don't know. Like for sure. Yeah, I feel I'm. It. I don't know. All right. Last thing I asked you about that. I know when you recorded it. How many takes did it take? For you record that because you was crying and you're doing this. No, no okay, 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 okay. One take, literally okay. one right. take. The, okay. the whole entire song. Like when I was in the studio, when I I recorded it, like I said, when I was in Cali, um, and I was in the studio and they was like listening to me. Mm-hmm. Everybody was in there just like yeah, thinking about the what the fuck yeah. like. You just did this all the way straight yeah, for through. Sure. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? We're talking like, both verses, but straight through straight everything. Through, the oh, yeah. whole entire song. That's what's up. Hell yeah. And I mean, I don't, it, it'd be crazy. I don't ever feel any way when I'm doing the songs, mm-hmm. like in the studio or recording the videos, even though like, like they emotional, like with feelings or anything. Yeah, I was yeah. at the cemetery and I didn't cry like yeah, one time. For it, sure. But it'd be moments where I'm just at home and I just yeah, 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 had yeah. that moment. Hell and, yeah. I also have a therapist as okay. well. So, like, after my breakup, yeah. I was like, this is something that I need to do for me, like, in general, to just heal all around. Like, I'm still grieving for from sure. the losses. Like, yeah. I'm, like I, said, I got you a lost, lot of you, pain. Grandpa- grandparent, your, your, your brother. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Relationship. Like, that shit. And motherfuckers don't want to do that and go to therapy. They think something wrong with them. But exactly. you need somebody outside of the people who going to just tell you you right. Exactly. To, to talk to and shit. That's you know what, what I said. Like you have to get a therapist that's gonna be real with you. Like not a yes man, yeah, not a yeah. yes woman. For sure. Like call you out on your shit. Like okay, look, yeah. uh, like, <laughs> you was wrong on this. Yeah, so yeah. and you be like, all right, yeah, you right. So that's my therapist been like very very helpful for me yeah. growing as a person, an artist, for sure. a woman. Everything, especially like I said, with, with woman shit, you probably gotta deal with go through with music. Like you trust niggas, niggas just trying to get on. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a lot of shit. Like, and you know what I'm saying? Women can be emotional when it comes to certain things and stuff like that. I mean, men can too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Men some emotional ass niggas and shit. Exactly. But, you know what I'm exactly. saying? <laughs> you might need that motherfucker to talk to and shit. Time, time here and time. You know what I'm saying? Time. Sometimes. Right. Staring like a motherfucker. <laughs> but um, on reasons, you said, I remember the day you stood up in my DM. Can you find, can you really find some love from a DM? Because I, I mean, I, I, my wife hate when I tell this story, but that's how me and her met. It's through a DM. Right. I mean, as crazy as it is, it's just the way the world is today. Yeah. Like, it's, it's a quick form of communication to get somebody attention. For sure, for sure. Um, of course, we will all love to meet the love of our life at church or at Walmart <laughs> or yeah, for sure. somewhere in the yeah, world yeah, where yeah, you yeah. just like... But at the same time, that's also kind of weird to people now. Yeah. Like, Some, just walking up to somebody yeah. and being like, hey, how you doing? Yeah, um, can yeah. I get your number? Can I take you out? Yeah, for sure. Opposed to <laughs> you having them on uh, on your phone where you can look and look through their life, kind of, and yeah. see like what, and that's they, all about like, saying. what they be doing. Niggas been throwing these red flags shit. What's some red flags on a nigga f- Instagram page that could be like, oh, hell no. Well, them having that thousand million followers <laughs> and 28 likes. Like, <laughs> no, bro. Like, that means you just fake weird. Nigga, like, yeah. yeah, you fake. Like, mm-hmm. that's, a, that's a, a red flag to me that you just... Trying to be somebody that you're not. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I like I like to go on a page like if I'm if I'm messing with a dude like I want to go on your page and I want to see you on there like 
taking your mama out to yeah, dinner maybe sure. being a good dad if yeah. that's what you are or, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know if you got a job like showing what you do for real yeah. opposed to you just trying to stunt and floss because that's so annoying to yeah. me like i get annoyed with niggas <laughs> really really quick that's yeah, why i don't sure. really date them like and that's all about to say because on the last uh Episode we was on, y'all clown me for my my takes on like you know what I'm saying, right? Girls with team drawers on when they be gay. And stuff. <laughs> Talking about it's all like, it's all these studs. Yeah, like, like we're like, like oh I'm, my I'm make sure god, I'm, real, I'm gonna make sure I'm real careful because I don't want nobody. Please to be like, don't offend yeah, this no, community. No, because I don't trust all. me. Trust me. You know what I'm saying? I got love for everybody. Love who you love. Do not do be the happy. baby vibes. Yeah, so. I don't give a damn who you love. As long as you happy, you exactly. know what I'm saying. Ain't got nothing to do exactly. with me. But you 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 mentioned like you had a girlfriend. And then uh-huh. you mentioned what you get annoyed about with dudes. Like, could you be in a serious relationship at this point with a dude? I feel like it would it would take a lot. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I know I'm not ready, so yeah. I'm not like trying to rush into it. But I have like been on a few dates. I'm not gonna okay. lie. Like, I've been on a few dates with some guys. Yeah. Um, some of them was very weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Very fucking weird. Like, yeah, yeah. not me going on a date with the guy yeah, that was weird. Just, it was the nigga. Like, yeah, yeah, for sure, weird though. Yeah. So, um, but I always, you know, like I have moments where I'd be like, damn, maybe like. I would want to try it one yeah, day, like sure. just yeah, just see. But I just feel like I really get annoyed by dudes so <laughs> fast, and people think that girls are like bad and catty and yeah, bitchy and yeah. stuff like that. But niggas yeah, are yeah, way sure. worse. Yeah, it could be bad. It could be bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. I mean, I know y'all guys. You no. know, like shout out, stand up for y'all <laughs> brothers. <laughs> but no. with me, like I just feel like you had to come heat because you know that I don't really deal with dudes. Yeah, so you got. So when you trying to mess with yeah, me, yeah, rock my world. Gotta, no point in <laughs> <laughs> You feel me? You yeah. gotta, you gotta be on that and sure. just sure. like have something really to talk about. Like, don't just keep hitting me up. Like, what you doing? Come chill with me. Like, yeah. let's. You feel me? Like, yeah. oh no, vibes like that. Like, I like going out. I want to go on a date. Like, mm-hmm. I want to go out to eat. I want to go to the movies. I want to do fun bowling, yeah. some fun stuff, sure. so I can get to know you. No, yeah. I'm not kissing you when yeah. I first meet you. Like, yeah, no weird stuff. Yeah, bro. yeah, for sure, for sure. I want to ask a dumb question. No <laughs> dumb question. Because it, it, it ain't dumb, but it's, I always been curious, and it's like it wrecked my brain. Okay. When when females are in relationships together, oh my God. this is gonna be the last time I think I asked about about relationships. When females be in relationships together and they have a kid, and um, how do that go? Like, all right, on episode of girlfriends, <laughs> remember you you was a girlfriend watching nigga because I was. Uh-huh. So what was it? William William's sister was in a, a relationship with a woman. Uh-huh. They had a kid, but she wanted the kid to still be related to her, so he wanted to use William sperm. So how do it go when when women have kids, but it's it's coming from the mother who's giving birth? How do the other woman? How is the other woman related or, related to the baby? Like, is it basically like kind of like not, they adopt the kid? It's just a relationship. Yeah. Like, you know, like I mean, you being a stepdad. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. But you really, I mean, that's really just your kid yeah, yeah, because yeah. you there from day one type yeah. shit. Because I've been done with that. Because like, I never want to ask a question because I don't want to be disrespectful. But I'll be like, damn, are they like just using? Right, a lot of some, people just don't know. Yeah, because so you, you using some random dude sperm, or you know the dude, or is it um, from the girl a lot family? Of the times people do like yeah. they have sperm banks where you can for actually go and you know. You can pick out, like, now it's so advanced with, oh, my God, with the technology that you could actually pick out how, whatever, color eyes you want the baby yeah, to have. Yeah, that's like, wild. What, you know, ethnicity you yeah. want it to be and, and stuff like that. Um, yeah. I never really got that deep into <laughs> it because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't thinking about having kids at For this sure. time where yeah. we wasn't really talking about that like that. But if it was something that I wanted to do, I feel like. I would want to know who the guy is. For sure. Like, yeah, fast, it would fast. be somebody that I really like. Trust and that's why I use the an- analogy with, uh, like with, 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 the, with the girlfriends, even though I know that's a, a not real show, but they use his, his the girl, they use her brother so she can still be some type of form and have a. I don't know about that. Like, yeah. I think that's kind of yeah. weird. It, is, it, it could be weird. That's why he was weird out by, like, because they were like, we don't want you to take care of the, <laughs> the yeah, kid. Yeah, like, because like, he attached to it, like, nigga, that's my son. Yeah, yeah, like, that's what, what you mean? He, he dead uncle. Like. Yeah, uncle daddy. <laughs> yeah. So, right, hey, people who are watching this show, don't shoot me down. It's just questions I be having my crazy brain. Yeah. I had to ask. <laughs> hey, you look. You got to get in here. You know what I'm saying? Now, last thing on talk about the bar. You said drove home that 14 hours just so I can kiss you. What's the craziest thing outside of that? <laughs> you did. That's, you know, I mean, that's that, facts. Yeah. Like, so, because when me and her met, she was living here. Mm, I was living in Florida. Florida. Yeah. So, 
um i had just like it was like christmas time and i'm like bro mm. i'm about to drive home and surprise her like she not gonna know that okay you feel me that i'm coming so yeah, i had yeah, a yeah. whole set of all her all her family and friends that i just like had them doing little stuff to make sure that i had mm. you know like to, to get it together and yeah i mean that drive from florida to detroit was 14 yeah. hours yeah, like sure, and i'm sure. like yeah, 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 yeah. i drove here to ask you to be my girlfriend like so yeah. and like i said we yeah, got we got a lot of comment in that aspect because i was up in texas shit went bad real bad i had to move back to detroit i wouldn't be so quick to move back to detroit if i know like my wife you know my girlfriend well she was my girlfriend she Cut my girlfriend a little bit. She was here. <laughs> she was here and shit. So I'm like, man, don't, fuck don't it. get in yeah. trouble in this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Don't I, I, do that. I, I, we, we, we might as well have been in a relationship with shit. Cause when I came down here to visit with shit, we was locked in that whole time. So yeah, okay. it, we knew where it was. So when he was like, nigga, you need to stay down there in Texas and get your shit together, I'm like, man, fuck that. I'm about to go back up here. Exactly. Like, oh, girl might be the one. Like, I just knew that shit off the, off, off the rip. So. Yeah, but I didn't actually when I drove down here that time, mm. I wasn't coming to move. Yeah, you just came to I visit. I was just coming to visit cuz yeah. I still, you know, I still had a job back in Florida yeah. like I was still, you feel me, doing my thing. And then. But that kiss. That you feel me? <laughs> it was it was a lot. You feel me? It was just that. But it was a lot, but like her being here was a major factor in me moving mm -hmm. back, but I also moved back for an opportunity with my music because For sure, for sure, for sure. Where I was at in Florida, I was in Pensacola. It wasn't shit going on yeah, there. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I would either have to move to damn near Miami, somewhere <laughs> yeah, like somewhere a big, popping, a big yeah. area, you know, that's in in the city or yeah. in the state. But um, it was just when I was start doing my D mixes, the freestyles and stuff. I just had a lot of people reaching out to me like, bro, come to the city yeah. and record. Like, yeah, yeah, come yeah. do this, come do this. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go and see what it is. And, like, that's how I start doing the ciphers at the radio station. Like, sure. I heard about it. I'm like, I'm going to go up there. Once I made it the first time, they like, you yeah. got to come back 10 weeks. So, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I can't be in Florida <laughs> yeah, keep going and back coming and forth. back. Yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah, I got to sure. come. I got to move back yeah. for a while. That's what's up. So, that's, yeah, that's what happened. That's what, probably, it was a good decision probably looking looking at it. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, everything. Like, I feel like if I wouldn't have did that, yeah. I probably wouldn't be where I am Yeah, you probably right had some now. regular job. Exactly. Like, yeah. irritated. Now, um, <laughs> let's get your acting bad. My first time seeing you at... Was in my nigga Sale video. What up, Sale dog? You and, and you you know you put that together. Yeah, yeah, you feel yeah. me? Like through the oop. Man, on, shout out, on. shout out to Sale. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sam, so right? what? Uh, what made that happen besides me? <laughs> well, I, I hey, mean, it was you. Like you yeah. told. I guess he asked you about me. Like yeah. he was trying to get some girls in his videos, For and sure. he said, you know, they was like playing. So yeah. he hit me up, and yeah. shit, I'm always down to work. Like yeah. when you feel me, so for sure, for sure. When like, he hit me up, I was like, let me hear the song. I thought the song was dope yeah, like, was hard. Yeah. it was something different that yeah. i would haven't like heard from guys in mm -hmm. a while like you know like he being very like loving towards the girl mm -hmm. like so it's like all right cool i fuck with self man like i've discovered self just by watching mcgraw f and he got he got murked on that mug right that's what he <laughs> said he was like yeah i was in the movie and shit yeah. i died like <laughs> quick i'm like yeah, yeah he did he did <laughs> so i just reached out to niggas on mcgraw f because it was during the um you know what I'm saying when COVID first happened i'm watching it so i'm trying to reach out to everybody who was in it right and shit him and the nigga who who like basically produced the uh shit um thomas harris was the only ones who said they'd come on. All right. So I'm like, nigga, he was cool as hell. Like, shit, he one of the ones, like, you, a few people, and I still, you know what I'm saying, chop it up with, you know what I'm right. saying, on social media outside of just being on the show. Exactly. So, uh, you know, the, the video, of course, it was like, you know what I'm saying, a little sexy video, you mm. know what I'm saying, a little sexual. <laughs> so like, I was like, do we got that going right now? <laughs> no, like, what's happening? Like, it, 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 is it hard? Dog, to be like sexy in a video and then that part when he picked you up and yo you know what I'm saying you did it it did like that little bounce part they, <laughs> so they did that little bounce part that was definitely a video edit I think but I mean you know it jumped it, 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 jumped. it was wavy a little bit it jumped they, you know they put a little twang on there for the, for yeah. the effects but, yeah. now, um, like, but no for all your sides like is it hard like to cause you ain't rapping you just in there being like a model but acting at the same time like how hard is that like to be like sexy and you're sexy bad? Honestly, it's been pretty easy because I'm professional. Yeah, for sure. And as long as I'm working with somebody who professional, then yeah. it's gonna be it's gonna be easy. Mm -hmm. And with me um actually acting now, like and you know, like taking classes, like well, actually like having rehearsals and learning different ways yeah. to engage with people, it's been easy. When we did that video, he yeah. was more nervous than me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. he was just like I don't want to, you know, I don't want to do too much. For I sure. don't want, I want to make sure you comfortable, but I also want to, you know, like I was just telling him like, bro, like just do you like, 
we we gotta make a movie like it's yeah. a sexy song we have to be sexy like for sure so just sure. and after I'm, I told him that he had a, a, he had a couple drinks and yeah. he was like all right fuck it let's yeah. go I just sent to you you can play in the background dog so people can see this shit. <laughs> Oh, man. I just, you know when I, when I have people on the show I, I research the craziest things so I look back on the video and just like yeah. you know what I'm saying it was a, it was a lit video for yeah. sure like yeah, yeah, it yeah. was it was so many people ready to see it just from the pictures we was posting like yeah. they were like hold on like yeah. you was kissing this nigga he for, was for a minute I was about to be like oh my bad nigga y'all niggas dating like <laughs> No, we not. You know like he, he real cool. No, he cool like, that's hell. my guy. But no, no, that's the no. homie and shit, man. Shout out to my nigga Sale, dog. He supposed to be back on. Uh, he gonna what's up? We going to change it, dog. Cause I gotta go to a funeral next uh next Sunday. So oh, sorry might about that. Yeah, my wife, uh, her grandfather passed away. He had cancer sorry, and all that. Sorry, we just that. went there. Oh, here go a video playing right now. Dog. You know, see my nigga Sale looking oh, smooth. And shit. You oh tell nigga, God. you tell your West Side nigga and shit, dog. <laughs> hey, you gonna know the exact part? That's, <laughs> that's he for man, sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now um. Also, man, on a serious note, dog, like, uh, rest in peace to my dog, uh, Lex, man. Lex was right. on episode, like, shit, 30 or something, man. I got, got cool with him. Another nigga I got cool with came on the show and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And you was on that web series, uh, Destiny. Right. Um, I was Destiny. Yeah, you was Destiny. Um, now, you know what I'm saying? I had heard on the, um, another podcast you was on that wasn't mine that, um, you know, yo, it wasn't mine. It might have been like shout out to whoever yeah, podcast yeah, that was because if I was on it, yeah. shout out to yeah, y'all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, it, it, I don't know if you uh, caught her a little bit of it. Was it like a little riff between you two, like before, like the whole past and something like that? Like, yeah, if you feel um, comfortable talking about it, like, um, again, like I mean, I have to make sure that I say like, rest no, no, in peace yeah, to yeah, him for sure, for sure, and, good nigga, good dude. Um, thank you to him for, like I said, even like believing in me to to take a lead role in something like whatever it was he just was like have you ever acted before i'm like no he was like well i think you would be perfect for this here's the script learn it you about to be the leading role and i'm like how like how like how do you think that i can do this but it was it was actually you know like very helpful for me like i i learned how to learn a script like yeah. b- like lyrics so get another bag so in your re- shit yeah, yeah you feel me i was just recording myself and listening to it like it was a song so that's how sure. we'll learn it for sure. but um yeah he gave me the opportunity to do it and like during the whole process me and him like had moments where it would just be like all right bro like i'm not i don't yeah. feel comfortable doing this or yeah. the way you know like he might say something or like like lex he was just like somebody that was like on go like yeah, whatever yeah. he wanted to do at <laughs> that yeah, moment I mean, it had to happen yeah, like that's right what my nigga did was saying like with being yeah, his manager it was nothing yeah. planned out where yeah. it was like with my life yeah. i need structure yeah, like sure, i yeah. need to know what day we shooting what yeah. time what's going on like i'll be somewhere and he hit me up like oh we about to go do this i'm like uh-uh. yeah, like you sure, can't yeah. do that yeah, 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 yeah. so um like even if y'all watch episode one mm-hmm. episode one is in my apartment yeah oh, yeah Mind we got choked out <laughs> no, I'm that was to... never a part of the plan. That was okay. not. We were we were meeting at my house. Yeah, to just meet at my house. <laughs> and he looked in Action. there. He looked in there. And he was like, "Oh my god, all this space in here. Like, I can, bro." He done called up the director <laughs> and everything. Like, Man. and I'm just seeing everybody pull up. I'm like, what the hell going yeah, on? For sure, for sure. But <laughs> but because you know, like, I'm like, all right, bro. Like I like I told him about this stuff. Yeah. I'm like, nigga, you can't do this. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got. Yeah. I gotta make sure my shit clean and look right. <laughs> everything. For sure. Hell yeah. Hell and yeah. you know, I need preparation. And he was like, oh, I'm so sorry, but I'm like, I just need that. We gotta do this. And because it was my first time, you know, being a part of something you like was with that, it. I was with it. Like, yeah. all right, boom, whatever we gotta do. For us to get it done, mm-hmm. I'm with it. But it was just too much of that that was happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And me and him just like, you know, like we just... Man, had, that's okay. Yeah, okay, it yeah. was just regular little back and forth and stuff like that. And it was like, um, like really like right before the whole situation happened with mm-hmm. him passing, um, I was kind of about to get back into it. Like, yeah. all right, boom. We had took... Everybody had took some time from filming. For sure. So it was like, all right, cool. And then when that happened... And they were still trying to do it. I was like, I just don't feel right being a part of it when me and him never like hashed out our differences yeah, yeah. Before. Be, before. So I yeah. feel like it would be weird. Like yeah. I, maybe he would be happy and proud because he did like DM me one yeah, day. He was, he was do- like, yeah. he was like, I'm so proud of you. Like just yeah, keep going, even sure. though we wasn't like talking yeah, at that yeah. moment. And he did yeah. say that, and I was like, damn, that's 
that's crazy. Yeah. Now, like he passed, but yeah. at the same time, I'm like I can't be fake. And no, be yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah, how. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, 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 man. When I heard that shit, I'm like, damn, that shit crazy. Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And I, I knew you was in there. That's why I reached out to you. See if you were straight and shit. Right, like I, like I felt so crazy. Like I just felt so weird. Like how is somebody that I just been around like yeah. so much now just gone yeah. like that? Yeah. Like, and, and that, that kind of like teach you a little bit. Like you know what I'm saying? Like even if you going through some shit, like. You know, shit. Some you never know when a nigga or or a female gonna leave this earth. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? That's why I hate like arguing with like people. My my, my wife or like people I'm close with, and then I'm something happened. Hey, be like, yeah, you right. That's the last yeah. thing. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, I ain't trying to make put no sadness on the story, but no, but that's you can learn real. from that though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I mean, that even happened with like my brother. Like a lot of people don't know, but me me and my brother, like we kind of was not like on good terms when he got mm -hmm. killed yeah. and that shit like still like eats me up to this day but like sure. I, I mean i have to deal with that in therapy because yeah. it's like like we wasn't talking yeah, and yeah. it wasn't even our faults like it was our parents fault yeah, 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 so yeah. we in some stuff that they got going on with mm -hmm. you know court and mm -hmm. child support and legal shit and it's like he yeah. going he so going tied up into right yeah. he, he's sticking with his household and i'm sticking with my household yeah, for sure, for sure. and i'm just telling him like bro you don't know what's really going on like yeah. i'm i'm going to court with my mama every time so yeah. i know what's happening yeah. And it was just, it was just so crazy. Like, I mean, but yeah, that that be that's how that life was, is. Like, when my mom passed away, like we had kind of got into a little dumbass argument the night before. But I was lucky enough to talk to her like hours before she passed away, like literally hours. Mm -hmm. And shit, we was just talking about real life shit. So right, that's, you know, that's yeah, just, that's, that's just crazy. life, yo. It's fucked up, but that's how life is. Like you, she, you, you never really know, never know. Yeah, you like, gotta be appreciative every day. You wake, wake the fuck up, like. Every, look, this is what I this is what I do every single day, and I just started this like I would say this month, mm. maybe like the end of last month. But every day when I wake up, I just instantly say a prayer, like yeah. thank you God and everything before I even pick up my phone, because I used to just soon as I rode over, I'm like, <laughs> let me get on my phone and see what's happening, yeah, like what sure. happened, whatever. And I'm like, bro, like I have to take a time to really just say thank you and oh, yeah, be appreciative sure. that i even woke up today because yeah, yeah. a lot of people didn't yeah for sure so for sure, i'm for like sure. this this is a part of my meditation that i have to do every yeah, day yeah. wake up say thank you to yeah. god a prayer and go on about my day and the crazy thing about me i'll be thinking about shit like doing this podcast like anything ever happened to me people got stuff they can go back and listen to my voice see me right crack kids, jokes talk like, shit about you know good. what i'm saying yeah like, you really leaving a legacy yeah so, so even like great. of course i want a bag <laughs> For sure, like, <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> we need this bitch to get picked up by yeah. whoever. Like, man, I, I want that, that ASAP. But in the day, it got something for my family to be able to go back. Like, damn, my dad was crazy, or this nigga cussed too he much, or cool. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yeah, anything. Yeah, like, so, he was popular. He had this yeah, person. Yeah. Like, if one of us blow up, for and sure. he'd be like, oh, he had her yeah, on my yeah, show. Yeah, like, yeah, on hell yeah, show. hell yeah. First person I would have on, you know, Detroit Diamond. I was the first podcast interview. Hear me, legendary. You started it because I swear, after you did it, it was a lot of people. But like, all right, yeah, I need you on my show. That's how I be. And I'm like, that's how I be. Once you yes, get the posting, thank you. Yeah, that's how I be. That's how I be. You I'm know grateful what I'm saying? for y'all. Chris Paul and that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but so. Now, uh, like I said, you've been in there on uh, your acting bad heavy. I've been noticing, you know what I'm saying? Um, cause I I just seen on Rocky Bell like damn Diamond over here like y'all y'all doing some shit like is that something you could talk about what you, what you got going on yeah, what you've been we, you know what I'm saying um, part of? We working on a a movie slash series. That's mm -hmm. coming out. It's called So Clutch, mm -hmm. and Rocky is the leading uh, role, the leading lady in the character uh, in the movie or okay. whatever the show. And um, I play the district attorney. Okay, okay, so okay. I'm, yeah. I'm district attorney D. A. Harris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, we got a lot of like super dope people that's from Detroit that's like doing music mm -hmm. or that's in in some type of entertainment that's sure. a part of it um flatline is actually the director okay, so this is dope. his movie like yeah, yeah, yeah. we that's how y'all know it's gonna be amazing yeah, 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 quality for sure, for sure. this ain't gonna just be no regular little detroit iPhone movies, movies. <laughs> like anything that just you know some low budgeted stuff like it's really big yeah. um Lyrique is the writer. I don't know if y'all know who Lyrique is, but he's like an artist, hip. a producer, a songwriter. He he okay. wrote for like fucking Ray J and yeah, yeah, yeah. some some real heavy hitters, for T Grizzly, sure. all type of stuff like that. Yeah. So um yeah he on it um shoot we got because I see y'all got a couple a of people lot, like artist people. wise that's in the that's in this in this that that do music and shit. Right. Hey y'all been talking about doing some music together? Yeah, uh, everybody definitely like locked in. Like we yeah. all locked in. We I, we ha obviously haven't had time to do the music right now cuz everybody is 
learning their lives. Yeah, for sure, and shit. for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, we definitely all plan to work on each work with each other. Um, mm -hmm. we gonna do a group project. So it's, yeah. it's gonna be a lot yeah. coming from us. So yeah. shout out to Sell Clutch, the yeah. family. Rocky, Rocky back, you follow me, but you didn't ask my DM. I, I said, come oh, on. Oh, you <laughs> see Rocky on? I'm gonna have to talk to her. <laughs> like, look, you gotta go fuck with my mans. You feel me? Come hell on the yeah, show. Hell yeah, I see you was on the porch. That porch talk shit, whatever it is uh, in Atlanta. Off the porch, so yeah. So now you gotta come on and shit. You know, shit, fuck with your mans, man. Damn, yeah. God I, damn. Look, I'm gonna, look, all I'm gonna do is throw yeah. the oop, bro. For I sure. just, I'm just, I'm just putting sure. it out I'm there. I might start please. walking, walking up on people like shit night, like what up, nigga? Come on, shit. <laughs> For sure, for sure. Now, uh, you been acting. What's Bro, your what? wait? Wasn't you calling him Sugar Goodnight last oh, yeah, yeah. time? <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. I'm had that nigga walk up on niggas. Night. On nigga Sugar, man. Oh my god. You know what I'm saying? I was well, I was two pack mature and shit in this motherfucker, dog. Man, y'all got the classic name yeah. for sure, dog. What would be your uh your dream acting role and who would you want in the movie with you? Like, what would be your role you want to play? Like, hell yeah. This this is all me. Cause me. Uh, Flatline, man. Whenever you think a thug number two, man, nigga, you try to look. You if you try I'll be, to act, look. We we having some. Be, you know what I'm saying? We having some um audition days where we need man, a I might, few I might, people. I so might you try might to come have to pull up. Yeah, hey, yeah. Get my little <clears throat> my little acting shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like my debut, like. <laughs> but um. <laughs> like, do you want your pizza hot? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I it's so many movies and shows that I watch that I love. Uh, let like, me say this: Which, I, what more you want to recreate? Hmm. You did because you did basketball. ATL. You did ATL in the video, basically. Right, but probably love basketball. basketball if I could. That'd be dope. Like, Hell yeah. I wouldn't really want to touch that movie though, yeah, just because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's so great. Like it's just like a legend. Like sure. I wouldn't want to part two it and then it be yeah. like Honey Part Two yeah, or like yeah, Stuff yeah, yeah. VR Part Two and everybody <laughs> like, bro, leave. No, what's this? Yeah. yeah, but if I had, like, if I could yeah, do yeah. it, that would definitely who, uh, be a movie. Who would be Q? Uh, <laughs> Could, Who would be cute? Damn, be. I know. I mean, I know a lot of hoopers, so yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. I don't know. Probably, yeah. I mean, probably John Baby, who I got okay. on reasons because okay, okay. he hoop and yeah, do yeah. music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, we uh, we we talked and shit. When I seen y'all was in the studio, I'll be I'll be on it. I'll be hitting niggas up like, hey, what up, though, dog? You right. know what I'm saying? And I focus his music. He was actually dope. Like I listened to the project he had. He playing overseas ball and shit. Look, and he. You know, like how it's a lot of dudes who who just like hoop and then they be trying to rap yeah. and they really can't rap. Yeah, yeah, you know, for they sure. Can't fast. Really do music, but yeah. he actually can do music. Like, and he can, he got like harmony. Like, he can sing, yeah. he can rap. Yeah. Like, he know how to make a, a complete. Song. I know when you had went live with him, like y'all, y'all making some magic in that motherfucker. Yeah, dog. you know like, what I'm saying. That's and I've up. been knowing him like really all his life, like because. Um, his dad used to coach my mom in high school. Oh, oh wow, yeah, that's what yeah. that is. <laughs> crazy. So he used to come up to the gym with us all the time. Like he one year younger than me, so mm -hmm. he used to come up there and we used to hoop. I used to bust his ass. <laughs> like, now he you know he he Dude. playing overseas, yeah. so he cold. They got strong and shit. Right. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, like shout out to him. Shout Man, to him. hell yeah. Now you you know saying you write music, you write your own music and shit. Yeah. Uh, you been acting. You, you ever thought about like shit? I I could write my own little. I be little thinking shit. about it sometimes, like yeah. yeah, I wanna, I wanna write like a little short film or do something. Um, I just know it take a lot, like a whole lot. For sure. Hell and yeah. I feel like I can do it just because, like, most of the time, I come up with my treatments for my video. Mm. If not, like, if if I don't do it, yeah. then uh, CC do it. Like yeah. CC Universe, she is the creative director most of the time, or um, the choreographer, but. I always have the first idea, like yeah. how I want it, and I just need you to execute. Yeah, I think like you could it. do that shit. Yeah, I'm, I'll yeah. probably get into it in the, someday. In the near in the future, or whatever. Yeah. Now, I, I was disappointed myself after our first episode because you said like you know saying this is this like the basement feel and stuff like that. This, that, and the third. And then I see you going to another show. And you was rapping. I'm like fuck. I didn't ask her to rap. Oh my god! <laughs> what show was I on? Um, I think it was the Streets Radio. Streets Radio. And I'm like uh, fuck. Shout out to shout out to Streets Radio. Focus on filters. Yeah. Know? So I'm like damn. But me, I be I be worried about asking niggas. I don't want to put people on the spot. And if niggas say no, we will cut it out and shit like that. Exactly. But you know what I'm saying? I felt like this was the opportunity and the time to be like, you know what? I but look, this would be happening. I, so I, I feel a no coming on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I oh, rap for sure. Okay. But most of the time with like certain shows that that's what they do mm -hmm. they let you know before you come like I need you to write you a 16 or have yeah. something oh, ready yeah, yeah, yeah. that you can I'm gonna just put on the beat and but you know what go. I even got one better for you that's how how dope I am and how much I study it I'm gonna make it easy and when you hear the beat 
you gonna be like, oh shit, you gonna make it easy for me. DJ got the hot girl. You ready? Oh, yeah, for you sure. gonna turn up? Yeah, you want a hot girl from the D to 313? Body real, teeth right, charge a double the fee. Let you ride in the vet while baby pushing the Jeep. Came back for my cash, yeah, you hoes on me. Make you pay all my bills, cause this shit ain't cheap. Need the debit in the pen, love shopping the sprees. West side girl, but you know I fuck with the East. Southwest Ink Town and them number streets. Detroit is the city where we don't ever sleep. Cause we grinding all night so our people can eat. Doing hair, doing nails, even selling the trees. Gotta get it out the mud, and that's by any means. Spending cash every day, I ain't never been cheap Gotta win it with my bitches top five in the streets And I came off the top like the style was free Summer Jam saw me up, Detroit Diamond got heat You wanna hide, girl? <laughs> <laughs> Told y'all, I knew, I knew it yeah. like, I heard that shit, well, I heard that shit, man That's easy yeah. I'm like I'm like, I'm like, when she uh when she come over here, she better do that shit You wanna rap a little bit of that one song on the um, Juvenile one? I mean, I can You know what I'm saying? Sure, Sh- we can I t- do whatever you want to do. Should I take your head up and start off or something? Go ahead. Oh, shit. Let's see it. No, yeah, I'm weak, show though. me what you got. Let's I'm, go. I'm weak. I'm weak. All right. Uh-huh. Uh, let me Come see. Come on, turn it up a little bit more for me. Damn. Let me see what I do. I do. <laughs> In this mother- oh. Yeah, hey, they like shy what you been on. Writing for this mistake, all these songs on my fucking phone. Just taking my time, I'm patient with the pad and pen. Listen to these other rap niggas, you see, I'm trying to win. The flow yeah. better, what I'm talking about is much realer. I'm my T for the Celtics, nigga, a young killer. 360 flows, rapping circle around these niggas. The highest in my city, they ain't fucking with these niggas. Oh. Ride to the east, about to smash a bad bitch. I've been knowing her for years, and I swear she never switched. She got a man. So we only talk or talk on certain days She be cooking for a nigga when that nigga working days It's okay. all good See, I just know where it is She got them some kids, so she staying for them kids <laughs> Yeah, it's just the hoes I be fucking Get another bitch to come over, see, it's nothing I got hey. this one little freak uh-huh. She be blowing on the weed okay. She got a nigga wanna go half on the sea But uh-huh. I'm good, cause that bitch never clean up I just go for a minute, get a quick fuck That's fucked up, but let me tell you about this one college chick 21, young chick, and she love ride dick yeah. Only fuck on Saturdays, cause that's only free day Cause she hooping every other day <laughs> I fucked up her back past this hey. bitch back to diamonds uh-huh. She gon' go crazy and she gon' wind it Ain't that like the shit you be talking about the rolling shit My nigga Weezy used to hit a roll in that cutty bitch uh-huh. I be on some other <laughs> shit freestyle off the top Everywhere I go niggas talking about real hip hop uh-huh. and shit How you really real when you faking all the time Niggas Listen. talking all that bullshit Go and take the time Okay we ballin' Play steady We callin' in and out Hey you fallin' They scared They just be stallin' And the money be fallin' So I keep a couple bags Billy Coop in the Jack Kitty Purr Hit the gas Like the queen of the port I ain't never took a loss a Lot of diamonds I'ma floss Baddies colder in the north They be shootin' they shot But they jumper kinda off If you workin' not a boss I don't really wanna talk Like Man that just sounds like He ain't even gonna go I'm gonna look that's your moment. That yeah, was your moment. No, you went crazy. No, 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 no. You went crazy. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, but no, that was dope because I, I didn't want to put you on the spot. So I know by me doing it that way, you had some off the rip. Right. You know that what I'm saying? Look, that was good. That was fun. Yeah. All right, you just know, started yeah. some shit. Am I the first one who did this? No, no, no. But oh, man. <laughs> damn, no, I'm we, trying to be the first no, to do everything had, like Soldier Boy. Yeah, no, but but uh, you you came on that bitch and you know what I'm saying. A lot of niggas be you know fucking up. You know, gotta get back. You know what I'm saying. This, yeah. that, third. But that's like my second time rapping on this shit because I don't you know they ain't. Look, I'm, you rap. Don't I'm act a, like you don't act like you don't be do, Don't <laughs> act like you do that. That's look. So when I first started doing my uh raps or whatever. Yeah. My D mixes and stuff when I was in the car, I used to always hashtag and say I'm not a rapper though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Hell yeah. I'm, I was, I'm just a hooper, but I yeah. just know how to rap. For sure, like, for sure, for sure. For I sure. even had a song that I wrote when I was like in elementary school, maybe like middle school, and I, it was called I'm a hooper, not a rapper. Yeah, yeah. Hell and my yeah. cousin, he irritating like my Man. shout out to my fave hunt. Huh? Like yeah. he would literally just bust out and be like I'm a hooper, not yeah. a rapper. Hey, yeah. like that'd be sweet though. <laughs> you could you could do a whole little like vlog. I'm, I'm not a hooper, I'm a rapper, but then. 
I mean, I, yeah, yeah. And then I'm a hooper, not rapper. And it could be showing like videos you hooping. Yeah. Studio, back and forth. But, oh, she can do both these motherfuckers. Easy, for sure. <laughs> Hell yeah, because sure. at this point in my life, I wouldn't check. I wouldn't feel like checking your ass. <laughs> Don't you can't you can't do it. Oh shit! Now you in challenge me. You can't do it. Now y'all go. 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 I got you go. You writing Lavonia in the hood. Now y'all go. Now I come up there. I'm sorry. When little bro started busting my ass, you know, you said you you know him from hooping. I I stopped hooping after that. Like this nigga. I'm washed now. I'm Who, washed. Malcolm? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That nigga. We was hooping yesterday. That nigga had pulled his hamstring. I'm like, fuck, now I got to play. Now I got to play. Now I got to play longer than what I expected. No, that that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I had 10 good, 10 points, 10 good, 10 points. 10 good buckets. Yeah, 10 good strong points and shit. <laughs> It's to like, the whole with some aggression okay. you know what I'm saying I mean but y'all was playing girls right no no oh no it was dudes oh okay like one dude like six eight no it was on, it was one girl on each team uh, I forgot the one girl she used to play for Michigan she said she graduated like 2010 AJ yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Ashley Jones yeah yep yep and then we had this light skinned chick named, I think her name was Tasha uh, and that was it cause hmm. it supposed to have been I think it supposed to have been 10 on each roster right so no more it was only two it was girls only, that it, came yeah, it was only five and five, so we had ten all together. Wow, that's crazy! So we had to add. I know it was like yeah. it was it was a whole bunch of them. Plus, I had my nigga KC. It. Uh, it would have been a whole bunch of niggas that could hoop. I'm like, oh shit, these niggas, these niggas play overseas. These niggas play for real. I got, I got to get my game right. Ben, I did the benefit game uh, either last year or year before yeah, 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 last. Yeah, yeah. That's how like I knew a, you had newer. Yeah, it was like um, a pink and blue game yep, that yep, we yep. did. Cause y'all beat the dudes, right? I think we won, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was like, I mean, they, it was like intense, like yeah, for so. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, these be thinking like, yeah, oh, yeah, we, it's yeah. we playing against some girls. We about to blow them oh, out. No, we about to no. go crazy. I don't like, take. Oh, I want. I want that young age. You gotta take these girls serious, just like you do a dude, cause they'll bust your ass just like nigga exactly. bust your ass. <laughs> and I'm one of them ones, and dudes all the time when I go hoop, they be ready to fight me because yeah. either they homeboys clowning them because I'm that's going off. Yeah. They like, nigga, check her. Like, yeah. she out here playing. Yeah. What you doing? But that's the one thing I never understood with dudes. Like, I don't want to. Yeah, don't. Like, for that. You better play some hard D. I'm <laughs> out here playing, bro. I'm a... What Monica say? I'm a ball player. Yeah, for sure. Like, Hell I'm not yeah. no female. I'm a ball player. Hell like, yeah. I'm out here. Hell yeah. Now, you know, last time we had a little argument, you know, say about basketball and shit. I was right when I said that Brooklyn was going to win the championship. <laughs> and you see how Bro- I said did I say Brooklyn was going well I remember you no, said KD was, was your nigga oh yeah you yeah, was Laker I'm fan LeBron, oh yeah KD like, your nigga though right you like I like KD yeah. but I'm, oh, yeah, I'm we, definitely we, all we LeBron on, we on the like, same team then we on the yeah, same team I'm, yeah. I'm LeBron all, yeah, my, all the way yeah. hell yeah they gonna win it they gonna... I'm very disappointed in the, this preseason right now I don't care I, if it's just the preseason yeah, I, never I don't want you to lose six games in a row I never really fuck with it like never cause like that's like when I remember Lions went undefeated in preseason then lost every game in the regular season so if they come but the the, we can't compare the Lions to the Lakers, <laughs> no, like no, in can't. no type of way. With, especially a Laker team that got LeBron, AD, mm. Russell, they gonna bust Mello, ass, like they gonna God, Lee, come and, on, and, and, uh, uh, yeah, they gonna bust ass, dog. They gonna bust ass. Russell, they got shit, to. Like. He just gotta. I feel like it's gonna be good for him to be there with Rondo. Yeah, for sure. To learn how to pace himself as a yeah. point guard. That's the only thing. Always been his problem. Yeah, he on go, which to, is great. I love his energy yeah. and his pace. And them old niggas gonna have yeah. to. Get they shit going, yeah. you feel me? Because he don't go, so yeah. you gotta run the lane for and sure, get out there. Sure. But to me, Russ always had the game. Him and D Rose had similar games, mm-hmm. but D Rose was way more calm with his yeah, game. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. He know how to pace himself. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna set the play up. But then when I yeah, go, I'm, I'm gonna out. go. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, like Russ coming thousand percent hey, hold back. On, but turnover, turnover. Like, ah, yeah. come on, bro. Now you're a hooper. Down. And then w- one thing that's been scary and it better be scary for niggas in the league, dog. That nigga. It's the preseason, but Giannis jumper has been looking wet. That I nigga, haven't even watched oh, them. That nigga, he changed his whole jumper. His whole shit is restructured. Well, that's crazy because like, he, he needed he, it. He watched the game. He come down that bitch pulling it from three. I'm talking about pulling that bitch like a shooter. Like He had like a little... I remember his shot was like broken. Like It was like that. He uh-huh. just coming that bitch. Bow. So he been in the gym working. And I seen that nigga like he's a he had the little dirt fade away in the game. Nigga hit like three threes. Bro, that's really all he needed to be. If like, he did that, because that nigga already top three. That nigga already a freak when it comes to like, man. like nigga, he can he can get to the rack when he wants to. He can finish that bitch when he wants to. The whole he got finals D. he had, yeah. he averaged thirty. He had fifty in the championship. Off like, of, come all, on, off bro. Off all points in the paint. <laughs> exactly. So don't let that motherfucker even sniff a, a little a mid range or oh, mid range like a little. But look, he don't even care. Like that man will come down and airball yeah, he don't give a, a three. And that's and what I like about him. And, and that's why ball, and that's like, why I don't respect about Ben Simmons. Right. Nigga, shoot the bitch. You scared to <laughs> shoot the ball and you 
you're in the league and you're Man. making millions of dollars. That nigga Giannis gonna shoot that bitch air ball free throw come back and dunk on your ass. I don't care. <laughs> like, I for don't real. Care. And that's what you got respect because that's why I hate when niggas on ESPN be talking about Chris Milton is the is that nigga on the team. Like no, Chris Milton. Yes, sometimes he, 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 he but closer. he was going ghost though. Like yeah, he a lot wasn't of time. consistent during the whole thing. Like him or Holiday. Like them niggas was going ghost. If it was for and this nigga was playing on one leg, nigga. That nigga Giannis had fucked his knee up. Everything. Still coming at bitch. He really, he really wanted to win. But so. if that nigga jumper is as, 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 as wet as it's been in preseason, <laughs> nigga, y'all niggas better watch the fuck out. <laughs> they said they gonna be back. <laughs> yeah, that they nigga. They for sure gonna be back though. Like who on who on the I mean, East that they gonna? Brooklyn still can get them problems without Kyrie. Yeah, but with Kyrie, I'm gonna saying, be... but they, it would just be them two again. Yeah, like, for sure. That's yeah, what it would be. Uh, what's ain't looking a little better? But I don't think they gonna do nothing too too crazy. Uh, uh, Miami because they got Kyle Lowry. They got real point guard. <laughs> Uh, Jimmy, I don't know. Kyle Lowry like, he is. Old. <laughs> That's my nigga Bro. though. He old though. He tough as shit. <laughs> he wouldn't have. He wouldn't have won if if, Ka- if, if Kawhi, Kawhi wasn't yeah. um and on Toronto he wouldn't have won because oh, yeah, he go ghost in the oh, playoffs as yeah. well. That nigga Him fuck you and Demar Derozan they yeah. was every time like they would make it every year yeah. and then them boys would just disappear and I'm like y'all. So who you got in the, in, the, in, the, in the championship this year? Lakers and who? Either Brooklyn or Milwaukee. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ben Simmons, I don't know. He said he might come back to Philly, but them niggas always choke. They know it's too much drama going yeah, on yeah, with them yeah. that it's like, I wouldn't even feel comfortable being there. Like, my yeah. coach said, he don't know if he yeah, For sure, me. yeah, yeah. Them niggas threw me under the bus. doing, saying all this, and then I suck. Like, when it comes <laughs> to me shooting, so yeah. no, nigga, I don't want to go there. <laughs> like, nigga, if I'm, if I'm making millions, dog, like, in summertime, I'm working on my shit. And, nigga, Rondo That's never had Rondo never had a jumper, but he gonna shoot that bitch. But he's been working <laughs> he'll make on some. it because yeah. when when the Lakers won the championship, yeah. he was they was leaving him wide open. He was like, oh okay, yeah, fuck it, hell Ooh. yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. So on the music shit, have you ever had time? Because you know, what I'm saying I be noticing, I, mean, I be having to make sure I check on you, make sure you good and stuff like. Aww. You know, what I'm saying, have you ever had time Bro. that you was like, man, fuck this music shit, I'm I'm good on it, thousand percent. How many times? Out the year, yeah. <laughs> I want to say out the week, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I can average it out, like. Because I just I peep, I ask that because I peep like you know what I'm saying I be I barely be on Twitter because I don't know I use it that good, but I peep you you was going through a little something like, you know what I'm saying like just make sure everything's straight. Man, it be like seriously being an artist, a independent artist for sure. Like you just have emotional roller coasters. It be mm. like like just like how we were saying. At the beginning of the year, I'm feeling like it's great. Or by the summertime, my music all on the radio. I'm thinking I'm about to, you feel me, turn up all the way. And then stuff just happening. You be like, bro, why is it not happening? Like, why yeah, I'm not for sure. rich and famous right now? Like, why I don't have Hell yeah. the support that I'm supposed to have yeah. when I'm actually putting the work in and doing all of this stuff? Sure. So I I had a moments very often, but yeah. like I said, therapy is definitely very helpful yeah, for yeah, even that. Like yeah, and the people in your circle, who, you know, what I'm saying fuck with you exactly. in the music too. Like I got a lot, like just like when I saying um like Gotti Bravo and Swole, like it be moments I just hit them up and I'll be like, bro, yeah. I'm I'm done. Like yeah. I'm not about to do this shit no more. Yeah. And they'll be like. Uh no you're yeah, not yeah get the fuck out of here like, with that bullshit cause when you make it we make it like we all coming together yeah, like this sure. is a package deal yeah, yeah, you feel yeah. me so Hell yeah. they you know like they keep me motivated for and sure for sure you need that it's it's cool hell yeah hell yeah cause unlike me see they gonna take it easy on you cause you a girl but if I be on this nigga man I don't know man you a bitch you uh, <laughs> get your punk ass <laughs> but you need that shit you need somebody no, to call but you but I definitely have that as well yeah. look I wanna talk <laughs> look it was it was just so crazy so I talked about this. I was just on a podcast the other day, mm-hmm. and um, shout out to to Kai, Planet Kai, her show, whatever. For sure. But um, she had asked me a question like, "What what's my biggest regret in my career yeah, yeah, yeah. right now?" Yeah. So I just had that recently. Yeah. So I went to the Millennium Tour. Okay. Everybody, I feel like everybody in the world kind of knows this right now. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to the tour, right? So the the host of the tour, he was like, it was intermission. He go out in the crowd and he like, hey, everybody who want to rap, who want to sing, whatever, who got talent? Boom. Yeah. He going to give the mic to everybody. Some people get in the mic, they can't sing. So yeah. everybody <laughs> booing them. Yeah. Some people you feel me, actually can sing. So the crowd hype. So yeah. I'm like, I got to do it. Like, yeah, sure, nigga, this is a big moment for me. Like, yeah. I done got us on the floor. Our seats was like, yeah, we was, was close yeah, to the stage. Yeah, I saw Ashanti like, oh shit. Yeah, yeah we was yeah. close to the stage already <laughs> from the side. But I'm like, bro, we got to get on the floor, like in front and yeah, everything. Yeah. So 
got us on the floor to track the man down, got yeah. the mic and everything. Yeah. When I got the mic, I'm so, look, I'm so in performance mode that yeah. I'm like trying to control the crowd yeah. and I'm like introducing myself, but I'm also taking too long to go. Like, mm. nigga, just get the mic and rap. <laughs> they just start booing me. Like, Duh. it's 20,000 people in there. Just, I'm like, so you is, even get to start rapping? You I just never got to rap that, because yeah. I took so long and they booed me and I and I like I I went into like a confused shock moment like, yeah. do they know me? Like, yeah. are they booing me because they don't like me? Yeah, like they sure, hate yeah. me or what's happening? But not realizing they booing me because I'm taking too long. Yeah. Everybody in here trying to get the microphone. Yeah, like, sure. come on. And niggas just being shit sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's like, how I felt. I was like, damn, what the fuck I did to them? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. is they mad? Cause my song on the radio or what? Like yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And then dude just snatched the mic and went to somebody else. And I was like, at that moment, I yeah. was bro, I was so messed up. Like I was damn near like Man. I don't even care about the rest of the show. Yeah, like yeah, you can't Omarion focus, yeah. and Bow Wow was coming out next, and I wasn't you, as hyped. Yeah, because that shit was on your mind the whole time. Like what the, the fuck? Like, <laughs> like I had knots in my Man, stomach, no, for sure. and I was so like I was really really hurt. Like a lot of people didn't didn't like understand yeah. what I felt, but I'm like, bro, yeah. like that was like that could have been like a really really big moment for me. For sure, yeah. And I was overthinking it because I'm like trying to control the crowd. No. Like, hey, like I'm saying, like. Like this Detroit Diamond, hey, whatever, like calm down or yeah. whatever. But that's yeah. not that time. Yeah. Like that's not that yeah. moment. That was a learning experience yeah, for me. For sure. Like whenever you got the opportunity, nigga, take yeah. the mic and yeah. start rapping. Yeah. Whether they like it or not, just sure. do it. For sure. But then when you but that's cause you you know, when you love something or passionate about something so much that that's that's how it's gonna be. Like then you gonna any little thing that might not go right is gonna eat you eat at you like damn what I could have did. Like Man. when I was a coach, I remember coaching basketball dog and we used to lose, that shit used to fuck with me for Tell the next game. I'm like, fuck, what the fuck? I could have did this different. Right. I could have did that. You think about everything you could have done differently, but you're not even like looking at the shit that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it probably wasn't really your fault. Like, bro, you know what like, I'm saying? and that's, that's, it was so crazy because, like, okay, boom, when we left, we, the people that I went with in the car, like, I mean, obviously it was, you seen who I was with. So, mm -hmm. um, we like talked about it. It was just like, yeah. we was just saying, like, damn, like, it's crazy. Like, yeah. why did it happen? Yeah, for sure. Everybody was confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then after I left with them, I'm now I'm at home yeah, by myself. You, yeah, you think so about, I'm yeah, like, yeah, for sure. Dog, like I can't <laughs> sleep. I'm up. It's like no, five in the fact. morning, and I'm just thinking like, these people really hate me here. Like I'm yeah. never rapping again. Yeah. These these people they just don't like me. I can't like. Yeah. I don't I don't know what it is. What did I do? I'm just trying to think like of everything, and I'm like, they really yeah. really hate me. And then at the same time. I'm getting, you know, like the cause and the feedback from like my mama. She, yeah. after, like, I showed her the video. I yeah. have a video of it. Yeah. Like, so she was just like, you took too long. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Like, what are you talking about? Like, they booed you because you took too yeah, long. Yeah, you trying yeah. to introduce yourself and saying, hey, and all this, like, this is not a performance. Yeah, you can't sure. control yeah, yeah. the crowd in a stadium. For sure. Yeah, yeah. And you nobody. Yeah. Like, yeah. so I'm like, yeah, you right, but at the same time, like I just yeah. felt like they hate me and they yeah, booed me. Yeah, yeah. I'm an artist. I got booed. That was my first time that's ever it. getting booed that's, by like, twenty thousand yeah, people. Like I said, when you love when you love something so much, you just want it to be perfect. Even though it's, and it's not gonna ever be perfect. You know what I'm saying? I get I I'll be lying to you, I get mad if I get I hit this nigga like dog, somebody dislike the interview. I'll be mad as fuck. Like but Right, like, like these niggas threw a thumbs down. Yeah, like what like, didn't you like yeah, about it? I'll be but then But you gotta take yeah, like you gotta that's how I I, sometimes you just be wondering like Damn, like nigga, comment what you didn't like so yeah. I can see, and then you know, feel me. I'll take if Tupac and Biggie come from the sky and drop a song, it's gonna be some dislikes. It's just it's, how it's gonna be. It's, they got dislikes now because mm -hmm. it's like the younger generation, they didn't grow up on them, so they just like them niggas yeah. can't rap. Like, yeah, what y'all talking about? Like, they not good. So, in, in the day, you can't you can't let that mess you up because it's just, you yeah, know? like it took a lot because yeah. it was like a lot of people that was like hitting me up on some. Funny joking shit yeah. like damn you got boo and you like Oofy you whoop, like I'm really out. hurt yeah. like I'm like oh my god they see me like anxiety all crazy I'm like. on the I'm on the Megatron in there like the big screen yeah, in there everybody see me they recording they ready to record me because they know I'm about to rap yeah. like all my friends and you gave me enough time to start recording so they like they got no time to put a phone out bro man so then I'm getting the people who you know joking on me or whatever like that that's making me cry more yeah. and be hurt or whatever <laughs> people sending me stuff like I guess I was going viral. On facebook that it was just people just like talking about it and yeah. 
you know, like no, that shit. hoeing me and stuff yeah. like that. But then Man. I had a lot of people who came and followed me from that. Yeah, like I sure. got probably like a thousand more followers yeah. because people was being nosy. And yeah. then some people was trying to be supportive. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. were DMing me like, bro, do not let that discourage yeah, you. Like sure. you good. Yeah. You know, like don't stop rapping. You just took too long. Like yeah. it's just a learning experience. Sure. Like, and on the bright side, on. they didn't boot. You didn't get booed for actually doing what you exactly. do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I had to think about yeah. that too. I'm like, yeah. bro, I didn't even rap. So yeah, for sure. they didn't boo me because they didn't like what I yeah. said. They just was like, but I was, but I felt like I got booed because they didn't like me. Yeah, That's yeah, how yeah, I felt yeah. at yeah, that yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, no, shit, that. CC had texted me and stuff. Like I was texting her like, bro, I can't stop crying. Like, yeah. I don't know what's yeah. going on. Like, this is so bold. And she was just like, okay, like, I know you're going to be embarrassed and sad for a little while, yeah. but I need you to snap the fuck out yeah, of for it. Sure. Like, Get back on your shit. You, like, I'm not here for the pity party, yeah. bro. Like, they didn't boo you because you suck. Yeah, like they yeah, booed just, you because you took too long. Yeah. That's it. Or it just mean niggas just niggas just do that shit. Like, right. And like, I mean it's just Detroit. Yeah, like they probably won't they probably want to get to Mario and them niggas like exactly. man boom get Mario on this bitch. I want to see right. that little dance so, be doing. <laughs> that I mean like that took me I would say phew, probably like four to five days man. to really no it like with this you. week like I'm just and getting I, over it. Fully, yeah, like. I couldn't realize like it just because you love it so much yeah. you want everything to be perfect and but it ain't gonna be perfect. Niggas, yeah, uh, that was that was a big that was a big yeah. regret. I'm like, bro, <laughs> I can never like miss out on that moment again because yeah. I found out not only was the guy who was the host of the concert that yeah. was like he's the he's the tour guy. Yeah, he yeah, on yeah. the bus with Bow Wow sure, when Bow Wow yeah. was just doing his whole little rant yeah. yesterday. The nigga was yeah. on the bus with my him. wife told me about that shit. I didn't know what the fuck that was about about him getting not being the best performer, but they said about spectacular yeah. like. Yeah, well, I said that shit even sound weird. I fucked that. But I mean, look, when you go to the show, if you see the show, Pretty Ricky put on like a real performance. Yeah, and yeah. Spectacular, he is the one who was like in shape and yeah, everything, yeah, yeah. in a sex symbol. So he, <laughs> yeah, because that he other nigga going all, right, he going, he going <laughs> all out in his performance. And Bow Wow is the headliner, yeah. so he feeling like he should have a certain amount of time, which is yeah, true. He yeah. should at least have thirty minutes, not yeah. fifteen minutes, nothing like that. Yeah. At least thirty minutes. And he like, y'all like I I put all y'all on. Like yeah. if it wasn't for me, none of y'all would. But you be can't up. be like that though. Yeah, <laughs> I mean you can have your moments. Like I you mean, can talk your shit yeah. and, and have your moments because he is is fast. I mean he is. He the, started the started screen, the tour. Tour. Yeah, no, yeah, screen tour. Yeah, the screen tour. Yeah, screen tour. Yeah, way before. Yeah, yeah, way before it was Chris him. Chris Brown, B two K. They came like, on Everybody after. was yeah, his who, who he brought in into yeah. it. So. He, yeah. he he for sure a legend like no, he for sure yeah no he for sure nigga be hating that. on him but yeah you can't hate on that nigga dog right I did a you know I did a little mixtape with with Bow Wow I had a song on his mixtape series so yeah. I communicate with him so he, yeah man cool. he, was, he was I was the first shot though like nigga next I, uh, <laughs> I swear <laughs> you know what right I'm he like what he thirty four how old is he thirty five oh one yeah. one year oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good year good year good year oh I'm old and shit it's all good give me uh. Outside music wise, give me three people that influence like your three biggest influences in your life. That's not they don't have nothing, nothing to do with music, like just in life general that you look at like they some dope people. Um, nobody shit, nobody. <laughs> <laughs> no, like um, damn, I don't know. I gotta think. Yeah, it's like you know. Maybe when you was coming up and shit before music was heavy on you and shit, you know what I'm saying? They so you you want the people to not be artists or can, be they? Not, can they be artists? Like this is life, just in life in general. Like there's people just like because like, you can look up niggas who don't even do music, but they just you you respect them as for what they do. They grind. It could be you know. What damn, saying? watch! I'm gonna like really know who <laughs> I want to say as soon as I leave. Like yeah, damn, that's how it I was be. such and such. Yeah. Like no, it was really. It could be this person because she a single mom or anything. Right. I mean, obviously, of course, my mom would like. Yeah. She just, you know, mm. she legendary for what she did, like for made sure. happen for us. For sure. So, um, yeah, for sure, my. Because I had said my three, because he was, it was on his show, uh, Wake and Bake Show and shit, man, uh -huh. on eblockradio.com and shit with these niggas, man. Uh, I had said, I had said, Shout I, out to e -block radio. I, had I said this nigga because you know what I'm saying that nigga be he do everything, he do a whole bunch of shit, you know what I'm saying? Right. Shit that he put his mind to, he do it, but shit that he don't. Put his mind to it, but I ain't doing that shit. Fuck it. Like, right. You know but, I mean, he, he got you going. True, yeah. and it was uh, my yeah. wife, because she's the type of person, just like him, who will, who will call me all my shit. Like, you on whole shit. Like, 
she won't necessarily say it because she don't cuss, but be like, you on some bullshit. Like right. when I was coaching, it took me too long to accept the coaching job. She like, man, you bullshit. This is something you like doing. Go do it. Right. And then um, the other person I said was my mom, just because she was on my head. And then God rest her soul, but she was on my head about everything. Right. She one told me like, nigga, you gonna make money one day. Either she said either you gonna get in trouble off your mouth or you gonna make money off of it. One or two. So hopefully, and you chose the you chose yeah, hopefully the we get this bag. Hell yeah! yeah so people like I that. mean, that's how I feel like about my mama too. Like yeah. she was very big on like discipline and getting shit done for sure no excuses and, i mean i feel like if it wasn't for her like i wouldn't have been like just all oh, my shit like you got all a's yeah. you getting to school for free yeah. like you you about to figure something out that you're gonna do like yeah. so yeah for i mean sure. for me just looking outside looking in i can say for you i mean this got something to do i guess with music but i can see like your brother being influenced because to me I, I could say that you you might you most are doing the music heavy because of him because right an artist, you right? that's 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 facts yeah. for sure because um it was crazy like when he was alive and he was doing his music and stuff like that i mm. wasn't doing music yeah, like i sure. wasn't i would just you know like play like rapping or whatever like that yeah. but he that was like he really his, his life yeah. like he was in the studio he was you know performing he was like he was into the club scene at like 13 yeah, yeah, yeah. like back then you know if yeah. you were just doing some party promoting and stuff yeah. like that and you was just like a little cute nigga they'll have you in there <laughs> so that's what he used to do like he used to he he been in that life like forever so um definitely yeah, I after he, nigga he had some good hair and shit a little good right, hair you know, <laughs> definitely after um after he passed it was like something that like opened yeah it was a wound that got opened for me because sure. i was just like it's a connection that we have. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Fast. And we used to, you know, like we used to play and do songs together in the house when we was younger, but we never recorded no music yeah. or anything like that. And I just felt like, damn, like, what what would it have been like if yeah, me and him sure. did a yeah, song, song together? Yeah. Like, especially now. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Because it would just be like, he. I just feel like he's super proud because he like, dog, like, I know you can rap, but like, man, you really yeah. doing this? Like, hell you yeah, doing, for sure. you doing what I was about to be hell doing. Yeah, hell so yeah, I'm hell like, yeah. Hell like, yeah. you got your shit on the radio, you feel me? You yeah. doing this, you shooting videos, all that. Hell Back yeah. then, though, we wasn't really doing it. Like, people was recording stuff on YouTube, yeah. like, just walking yeah. around yeah. in the neighborhood, whatever, like, weird shit like that. But, <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm... So, my mom, all right, yeah, my mama, my brother, yeah. and... <sighs> shit, my great-grandma. Okay. Like, because yeah. she was... I just feel like she legendary as well, like... For sure. She took care of so many people, mm -hmm. like raised, I mean, raised generations of kids yeah. and people. Yeah, and classic all, grandma. Yeah. Man, like, I just be thinking, like, how do they do that? Like, grandmas and yeah. are just really, like, off angels, of, bro. Off of they nothing, just, though. Like, wasn't the richest? Just, and don't care about yeah. nothing but making sure the kids is Facts. fed Hell and yeah. happy. That's Hell it. Like, yeah, that's if you, their whole life right if there. If that's what you yeah. got, we good. Hell yeah. So, Hell yeah. Shout yeah, out to like, all grandmas she always, there. man, that, that was my queen. Like, she made sure I was good no yeah. matter what. Like, so, yeah, yeah for sure. Definitely. For sure. For sure. For sure. Now, we, you know what I'm saying? We add something to the, to the show at the end called This or this Versus That. So, mm -hmm. you tell me which one going to win. The, you know what I'm saying? The versus. Right. Drake versus Wayne, career wise. Career wise, fully career, or, or just music wise, like who you prefer, Drake or Wayne? I, ooh, can I take a shot? Like, hey, what's up? Like, Drake, just let me take yeah. a shot. Like, hell yeah, for sure. Mm. Cause I'm, I'm always gonna go Wayne. Cause Wayne's yeah, in my cause personal Wayne, top three. Wayne made Drake. Yeah, like, yeah, he, yeah, for he, sure. Yeah. I feel like Drake, he mimicked his style and everything yeah. that he has from him. Obviously, he a little bit more creative when it comes to the R&B side of oh, things. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, I I, yeah. I have to go Wayne. Right. Um, If we was doing, like, a hit for hit now, yeah. it would oh, yeah, probably be Drake. Drake yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially with the generation. Right everybody now, yeah, would select everybody, him. Yeah. But Wayne, he set the blueprint for now, sure. I know it's your favorite rapper, T.I. vs. Jeezy. T.I. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thousand percent. No, nobody. Yeah. Athens versus rap. Right now, still rap, but okay. I I got a very very strong love for acting. All right, bet bet. Solid baby versus Vezo. <laughs> Me personally, I choose Sada over okay. Vezo because. I just love sort of energy. Yeah, yeah like, for sure. He got, he do got that for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, rest in peace. His father just passed away. Oh yeah, yeah he, he rest mentioned in peace. that. Yeah, yeah. Sad. Love versus single. 
love. I'm a lover. Right. I'm a I'm a lover. Like <laughs> I just want love. <laughs> Baby, give me love. I hate this single shit. Man, and a cool J, you need to redo that shit. Swear to I God. need love. <laughs> Like, and, dog, and, you hear on uh on time, I'm just like, dog, yeah, like being in the bed, like not having a motherfucker with you no more. Yeah, yeah, like, can't feel that warm damn. leg. I always like a warm leg. Like, damn your leg warm. Get, <laughs> let me get that motherfucker real quick. Hide that leg over to me one time. For real, that'd be, that, that leg be feeling good, shit. Yeah. <laughs> In-person game versus DM. Say it again. In-person game uh -huh. versus a DM game. I would I would say in person just, just because yeah. yeah because when you in, when you see them in person obviously you can just like yeah. see them analyze everything. all the way don't, and don't, have don't a mind my Nike and my Adidas bro, I don't know, it's right. <laughs> but you can you know like have a real legit conversation sure. maybe opposed to over the DM yeah. and seeing them it yeah. could be a false yeah, narrative yeah, for sure. of what for they sure. are so for sure I, I prefer it yeah now I see you being your soul food bad heavy and you can you can, you can cook she can clean her ass off too now if you a new crazy everything might clean. if y'all yeah. need look I got heat yeah, everything yeah, sure. I cook I yeah. got a cleaning business I got clothing yeah. line y'all see got yeah, Detroit yeah, Dyson yeah, gear do everything. I'm gonna get y'all some hoodies and shit I gotta get oh, y'all sure. sizes yeah. I'm gonna send y'all cause it's getting cold yeah, now yeah a little large a little large alright I got you <laughs> uh, Period. So yeah, soul food versus seafood. Damn. You can be you be your seafood. Tough, though. Yeah, I know. I know. Damn. Soul food is the shit. Seafood it though. Is. It's the shit too. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um I'ma go soul food. Okay. Oh, that's tough. Now, I don't know if I asked because... you this on the last one. The mac and cheese is a part of soul food. How do you like your mac and cheese? You like it when you pick it up and that much just falling down? Or you like that stern? Like I little... like my mama mac and cheese. Yeah. That's all I can say. Cause <laughs> I this year I it's been tough on yeah. bro. I'm I've actually just been open to trying people stuff and For it sure. ain't been it. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. I, that made me like appreciate my mama oh, shit like shit. ten yeah. times Hell more. Yeah. Cause I'm like, hey, thank God for my wife, mama man. She be matter of fact, we about to go over and cook, eat some cooking, and when we leave here right. every Sunday and shit, she be throwing down. I love it. Dang, <laughs> I need to pull up with y'all yeah. every Sunday. Shit, every Sunday. But yeah. Um, I mean, with seafood, like I love crab legs and shrimp. Yeah, lobster those tails. are my things. But I don't eat all seafood, so yeah. like I don't eat fish. I don't eat sushi. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, uh, I fuck with the sushi. Yeah. Uh, oysters, none of that stuff. It's yeah. just a certain thing. Like, yeah. Oh, so I so eat all yeah. soul food yeah. besides yams. But yeah, I like eat all. You like me? I don't fuck with the yams either. Yeah. yeah. All right, video versus performance. Live performances Ooh. or video. Right now, I've been in my video bag. I'm just about to get back into performing, performing yeah, but yeah. I love performing because, you know, you get the crowd interaction. Yeah, like, you yeah. you get to just feel like for sure. you in it, for real. Yeah. Opposed to when we shoot a video, I can be in... I can make this video like this video right here. I'm a boss. Yeah. I can make this shit look like it's a million dollars. I got a thousand people with <laughs> hey, man, me. Hey, man, this video is crazy though. Like, look, that like... shit look like, you feel me? Look, shout <laughs> out to Flatline. That shit is crazy. Yeah, that shit was what we got the yay We with Caddy, uh, Cali uh, shooting that, so. Yeah. But it was just us. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. it's like, I mean, I, I, didn't even have no, I didn't have no makeup artist. I didn't have no hair. Like, I'm literally doing everything yeah, by myself. Sure. I done had to watch YouTube videos to learn how to <laughs> do shit. Because yeah. I'm like, bro, I can't afford to be having all these people come and travel yeah. with me and do this. Like, I can only have my videographer mm -hmm. and that's it. We yeah, got to sure. pay for all the stuff we need. But when you, you know, like when you perform it, you mm. gon' you know you gon' kind of feel the love opposed to you shoot a video and then everybody see it. it's like oh okay yeah. cool Hell you know yeah. the process Hell so yeah, yeah two more two more Beyonce versus Kelly Rowland Beyonce what versus Kelly Rowland and it looks the look Beyonce department. I'm I'm all I'm all Beyonce I love, I love, I love Kelly man I love Kelly yeah. fine as hell yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't gonna fake like <laughs> yeah. I love I love yeah. the Ugh, I love Kelly for yeah, real. Beyonce, I ain't gonna lie. Chocolate. Like that one with a little dark but, skin. I mean, Beyonce just got a little bit more body for me. Like yeah. I, I, I like she got a a, yeah. a pretty face, but yeah. she also has a. Oh, she got a yeah, Kelly got a body too. Yeah. Like she got a Beyonce, slim, she thick little, yeah, she body. Got, but, yeah, Beyonce get a little thick. Them since a little yeah. thick in Ricardo. Yeah. But, <laughs> Last one: the baby versus little baby. Little baby, like little baby. Lil Baby is yeah. the best artist yeah. right now. Like rapping guy wise, he's my favorite. So okay. okay. Now, Absolutely. Yeah. Now you know I think I had asked you a drunk 
or how moment i don't know if you got a new one if you don't Do it, i got a good. new one because i haven't this year i wasn't even supposed to smoke at all yeah. like I did hit the blunt a few times yeah. just because I was like, all right, let me do yeah. it. Every time when I go to Cali, I be feeling like I you gotta got to. hit it. Like, <laughs> I'm in Cali, Cali bro. Yeah. Like, come on. Yeah, yeah. But it has been a few times that I went and I was just like, no, nah, I ain't smoking on it. Had, had a drink or a smoke ever messed you up recording or anything as far as music related? Uh, I don't I don't play about yeah. doing no drugs <laughs> when I'm about to go record. Yeah, Hell no. Nah. Sure. Hell yeah. But yeah. I did. I got to. I went to Vegas. Um. What, how many times I went to Vegas this year? You, like be, you, be, you be back and forth a lot. Okay, yeah, doing, but I one time like, oh. I had went for um somebody's birthday and I was just I was just in Vegas walking around by myself. Yeah, for like, sure. Like yeah. got one of them little slushy drinks and I was through. Like yeah. I'm just walking around like, oh my God, how am I about <laughs> to get back to the hotel? I don't know what's going on. Let me call a lift. Like, yeah. 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 So, and speaking of, she made the little drinks too and shit. That, look, yeah, she do everything. Man, come on, man, tropical what? trees by Detroit <laughs> Diamond. You know. Detroit Diamond dinners. We got Detroit Diamond cleaning Hell service yeah. LLC. Follow me on Instagram. Everything for Detroit sure. Diamond. Hell yeah. Well, sure. You already know, man. I ain't think like we had a lot to talk about for a second, a second part to it, John. That's yeah. what's up. I appreciate you coming on. I appreciate y'all for having me um, for sure. Whenever you got some shit going on. You know what I'm saying? Tap Come back in. through. You know what I'm saying? Rocky Bad, Dr. Darius, all them niggas that, that know you. <laughs> I'm throwing the yeah. oops. They just got to catch me. Matter of fact, um, what's name was on there? It was two artists I said that should work with you who was on here who I fuck with. Uh, Leah Bands and uh, um, Big Wish. I I met Big Wish through yeah. Rocky. Yo, 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 yo. Because so, yeah. I was in the studio with them one time. And also, and I met her. Uh, this episode 91, I'm thinking about doing something soon have like an all female panel if you down that would with be, it that would be definitely dope yeah so like, we yeah. it won't be just me asking questions y'all ask questions with each other experiences how right. y'all first started shit like that we'll be in a whole different location more mics more people right that okay, might be yeah that'd be dope for that sure it might be episode 100 and shit so so far I, I got you gonna be locked in for sure. Big wish. And then I'm going to probably have like six more or something. Okay. Just talk some little shit. I'll yeah, be that'd mother. be cool. You know what I'm saying? Trying to do something special. So if niggas steal it, then you already know where you got it from first. Ah, uh, <laughs> right. So you want to give people where they can follow you, where they can find the music, all that good stuff? Yeah. Make sure y'all go stream D-Mix Volume 2 on all platforms. Like, it's going crazy. I'm getting a lot of good feedback for it um, sure. from it now. Um, like I said, Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, Title, everything. Follow me at Detroit Diamond on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok for sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure, yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's up in the stuff. You, you know how to type of Detroit Diamond. You got any um any little positive words you want to give to people? Um, Leave people I just feel like I always just gotta say, just keep going. Just like okay. how we was talking about, like when you've had days that you feel like giving up, mm -hmm. stuff ain't going right, stuff ain't moving as fast as you wanted to, like. It's a lot of people who didn't become successful until they got 30 something, until they yeah. got 40 something. Like, for sure. Take time. but they just keep, you feel me? Like, they just keep putting that leg work in. And the real ones will notice. Like, they're going to be like, oh, bro, like, she been grinding for a minute. Yeah. And that's that's very important. So I just be like, keep going, man. Yeah. Just stay consistent. Like, sure. don't let nobody or nothing discourage you. Just keep going. Yeah, man. I ain't going to. I usually end up in some, you know, funny old jump, man. You know what I'm saying? Watch the video with Seth. Watch a little bounce. But, uh... Bro, watch a little bounce. But, uh, yeah, man. Just at, what Nip say, man. It's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint, man. So, just exactly. keep that, keep it moving. Shout out to everybody. Detroit Goddamn Diamond. Hey, Episode 91. We out. Period.